Hello? No, just give me one moment. S singular second. There we go. So I know I said I probably wasn't going to stream today. I fucking lied. <laughs> Apologies. Um, but my dumbass finally figured out how to play FNAF or how to record it. So we're going to be doing that. Um, give me one moment. It's really loud. So I'm going to open audio mixer. Apologies. I was just very fucking excited. There we go. I really ought to figure out how to do the, 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 the thing, the thing I want to do. Uh, like, I want to make an announcements channel in uh, my Discord so I can just announce whenever I'm going live there. Um, but, but I keep forgetting to, and I know that you have to get a bot for that. I've been procrastinating doing that. You know, it is what it is. Oh, well. Ah. I don't, so I'm going to try to at least get to FNAF, uh, or not FNAF 5, uh, get to Night 5. Uh, not quite sure, um, if I'll do the night sixes. I probably am not going to do any of the 2020s, because I'm not that good at games, but, you know. I also do know that night one's kind of just free low, so... Don't mind me. Because I, I forgot to log in on Genshin today. Um, so, intelligent moment. I'm just going to get my Welkin on my accounts real quick and then we good. I'm just making sure Foxy doesn't fucking come and kill my ass. That's the bad I know. They're a little quirky at night. No. <laughs> you know, he's only speaking facts if we're being real. We're up it. Oh shit, I accidentally logged in the same account. <laughs> also, have you guys heard of Silly Wisher? Uh, my, my, my fellow Genshin players. It's a very fun, it, it's an app game. You have to look it up on, um, if, if you have an iPhone. Oh, he's, I, I'll start talking about it in a bit instead. It's a little, it's a little loud. <laughs> I mean, most people don't already recognize me as a human being because I'm gay, so. Same difference. Same difference. This is, <laughs> this is all just, <laughs> just like comparing yourself, hmm. Are you gay? Well, the energetics will hate cry me like how other people will because you breathed. Hi, safe. I finally fucking figured out how to get FNAF to record on OPS, so. We're finally playing it. I'm gonna try to get through night sixes 
of all of them, but I'm probably not going to be doing all the 2020s. I do plan on doing at least most of the games. But yeah, also night one moment, so. Pop didn't say hi, I'm much on the garlic bread. <gasps> nice. Nice. Bro, I'm fucking jealous. Dude. Like, I might take some fucking garlic bread out of the freezer and just make some, dude. Garlic bread's too damn good. How's your bean empire going? Have you played any Minecraft? Mmm. Yeah, I believe it. Dude, like... Like, garlic butter just makes everything better. You know what I mean? He on the move. He on the move. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. Oh, yeah. Was that when you accidentally uh, fucking blew yourself up? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. He moving. He do be moving. But yeah, damn, that, that sucks. That's rough. You know, I really ought to play Minecraft. I've never gone through a full game. I really need to try it. Well, I've, I have tried it. It's just I haven't really gone through it. Level 5 tornado. A bunch of pollution back into my base. And blew up my weather deflector and my shit got wrecked. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Hi Zelda, uh, welcome to the stream. Oh, why the fuck are you out today? I'm not really scared right now um, because this is only night one, uh, but I will be losing my shit briefly, so don't worry. I am confused as to why the fuck Foxy is peeking his ass out at me though. <laughs> Slightly concerned. I only play modded now. Uh, Vanilla is too easy. I believe it. <laughs> Plus, I, just mods can make the game so much more fun. And we'll see you tomorrow. Busy doing shit, Ben. Bye! I hope you have a good Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I might end up streaming tomorrow. Because, you know, I thought I wasn't going to stream today. Uh, ended up streaming anyways, because I don't really have much to do. Um, I'm currently spending my Christmas, uh, with my aunt's family, because my parents are all off. We, we, we're homeless, but not, <laughs> um, basically sold the house, because we could, and we wanted to, uh, and <laughs> we bought, we, we, we are in the process of buying a house, we just don't really have a place to stay of our own, and, well, not even that, because we're renting a house now. But it's cheaper for me to stay here because we have horses and my aunt has property. So I'm here for Christmas. <laughs> so, you know, I'm kind of just trying to let them let them be do their own thing uh, today. I think we're going out for Christmas, though, tomorrow. I don't remember what we were going to do, but we're doing something, I think. Either way, I'm fine, even if we just stay home. One point one two. Gotcha. <laughs> ah! Jesus. <laughs> How did I die on night one? Jesus, when did I become this bad? <laughs> My dumbass. <laughs> I swear I'm not bad at the games. I just wasn't paying attention. It's not my fault. <laughs> Last up my bleh. Last update Minecraft was good. Okay. I believe it. Also if I <laughs> when if I scream and it's a little too loud, let me know and I'll turn my mic down. 
<laughs> now, I'll probably become more jaded as time goes on, but I am a little bitch when it comes to jump scares. Um, <laughs> I'm, I've am i played Mortuary System before. Uh, I see Ezra all like, the cope is strong with this one. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Look, I'm not bad at games. I I didn't expect him to go to like one of the farthest cans to suddenly he's at my door in like one in like five minutes five seconds, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> Don't be mean to me, I'm sensitive. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm like trying to sit here and I'm like, I don't know how much I have to like look up the cans because I don't want Foxy to come out and wreck my shit. <laughs> See ya, have a good day. Night. Whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Honestly, I think the story behind FNAF is, like, so fucking interesting to me. One second. Sorry, I had to cough my fucking lungs out. <clears throat> um. Fucking. Fucking excuse me? Fucking excuse me? Excuse me? I did not ask for your fucking input, random furries. Don't don't come near me, bitch. I I say <laughs> I say I don't have like a fucking cheap furry VTuber. <laughs> I'm not a furry. <laughs> if you play if you play Genshin or are attracted uh, to any of the characters, you've just automatically become a furry. That that's how it's always gone. My my friend was like, oh yeah, I, I don't really like people with animal traits. Not my thing. And then Tenari and Goro existed, and now they're a whore for them. So, you know, uh, Genshin moment. <laughs> it's not my fault we're whores, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Like, yeah. As I was fucking saying before, I was very rudely interrupted. Uh, I think that the story behind FNAF is actually very interesting. Okay, he's already over there. Um, where it's like Scott Cawthon was like making games. He's been making games for a while, obviously. It's been seven years since this fucking game came out. Cursed piece of shit. Um, and... <laughs> His last one, Chip and Sons, Chip and Dale, something. Not Chip and Dale, definitely not, but Chip and Sons or something. Cool. Uh, and how he got so many negative reviews about how it looked that he was like, okay, you think that they're creepy? I will show you creepy. Uh, I love it for him. I love it for him. Like, you don't understand. I wrote off the spite. I would not be alive today if it wasn't for spite. Like, <laughs> my dumbass is running purely off of that good shit. Um, and, <laughs> like, I, 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 and I love how now he's, like, created, like, a billions of dollars franchise off of it. Like, fucking good for you, dude. <laughs> like, like, take someone's criticism and go, oh, you think that's bad? <laughs> Let me make it worse. <laughs> it's beautiful, truly. My favorite kind of person. Um, but yeah, no, I, d I think he's fucking iconic, in my opinion. Like, I, I, I understand, like, the idea of 
people not really like him because, you know, Republican moment. Uh, and donating to a lot of these homophobic uh, charities. and Not charities, but, like, fucking just uh, corporations in general. Like, I, I understand not liking him for that. that. That's totally valid, I feel. Wow, that, that fucking got me. I had no reaction, but that, that shit got me, dude. Fucking good job. No, I was not expecting that. I was expecting him to be back, but yeah. No, that was really good. Cut. Um, but yeah, no. But it's also like he's also donated to a lot of uh, queer friendly, queer oriented things in general. Like he's donated to the Trevor Project, I believe, as well. Like, like I don't know, like. I, you, you can criticize him for his, like, political standing, but I don't think it's that he's homophobic. I think that, like, the people who he likes certain policies look just how to be homophobic. I hope. Maybe I'm coping. I'm probably coping a lot, but, like, but, like, let me have this. <laughs> like, look, I'm some, I don't know if I have ADHD, if I have autism, or if I have both, but, like, let me... Let this one part of my childhood just be pure, you know what I mean? Let me just fucking vibe. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You know? And then he got docs, which really fucking sucked. Like, that's stupid. I also thought it was really funny that the people who said he deserved to be doxxed immediately got doxxed right after. That that was fucking karma. <laughs> like, that was karma. <laughs> like, that shit was fucking hilarious to me. Haha. Ah, kind of I got you, bitch. What are you gonna do about it, whore? Huh? Huh? Okay, not there. Just making sure. Sheesh. Don't you do that to me, bitch. Fucking mind your business, Freddy. Mind your goddamn business. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're good. I can hear the damn chicken in the, in the what's it called? Someone's here. Someone's not here? It feels like someone's here. I can hear you, bitch. Fucking come out. Face me like a man. Huh? Why are you scared of a god of death? Surely not. VTuber lore moment. Do metaphor. <laughs> Welcome, as or misks. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm really sorry. Um. Yeah. No. I just... <laughs> look. My self defense mechanism in horror games is uh, insulting you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. First. First thing. Uh, when I played Mortuary Assistant, I want to stream it one day, but my computer can't handle streaming it at the same time. Um, uh, I, I would just repeatedly insult the demons. I am good with horror games that aren't, like, uh... Excuse the fuck out of you, bitch. What are you gonna do, huh? I can oh my god, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Bonnie. No. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Like, my coping mechanism, I'm sorry, I'm going to mute it because I really want to talk right now, um, is just, and everyone's heard it, but <laughs> me coping is literally just insulting the fuck out of you. I can, I'm not good with, uh, oh, 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 okay, we're, we're just looking there and it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. But yeah, no, um, in Mortuary Assistant, I do so much better there because I 
can deal with, like, looking at something and knowing something is going to happen. Jump scares fuck me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, like, you don't understand. Like, like I will get in screaming matches with a fucking shadow demon in the corner. Um, but, but like, oh, 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 okay, we're fine. We're good. We're vibing. Okay, he's right there. That's fine. That's fine. Because I expect him now. I expect him. Therefore, my power is going down so fast because I'm a spastic motherfucker. It's a top, it's a toss up between whether I have fucking ADHD, autism, or both. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> and this is just proving it. The alcohol in my system cannot stop me from being fucking hyperactive. <laughs> and by the alcohol, I mean like one can of White Claw, so it's not that much. <laughs> I hear you, motherfucker. Face me like a man. Face me like a man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to close my camera and I nearly fucking screamed. Oh no, I have, I actually have horrendous anxiety. Um, it, it unironically is absolutely debilitating uh, in social situations. <laughs> Like, I cannot stress enough how much I fucking shut down. Um, when I start getting, like, used to someone, I'll, like, start coping with it by, like, making a bunch of jokes. Otherwise, I just fucking shut up. Like, like, I wonder if I'm autistic because I damn near become nonverbal. <laughs> In, like, social situations where I'm not, I don't know all these people. Can you fucking come out, you little bitch? If I told my parents I'm a they them, you can fucking show your face to me, bitch. Come on. Come on. We all know you're fruity. The fan art that I saw when I was like 13 years old proves it. <laughs> Thanks. I hope you, this, sir, this is Wendy's. Uh, I know we thought this was Freddy's. Oh, he's already gone. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Like, like I, I I struggle also a lot with just like comprehending like social cues and you know what that that turns into it turns into me insulting people as like affection like I, I will hug you and then I will call you an absolute whore <laughs> that is how I work um, like, me and my friend were talking one night, and then they were like, oh, dude, um, if you ever, like, address me by my name when we, like, start talking, I'm going to think I have done something horrendously wrong. Like, I cannot, <laughs> my, my dumbass just, okay, you're right there. Okay, Chico's fucking around the kitchen. She's committing a me. Uh, at like 3 a.m. I also will. Hi. I start making fucking pasta at like 2 in the morning sometimes uh, because I'm hungry. Oh, he's about to come out. Congratulations, Foxy. We knew you were gay, but we're not going to say it because that would be rude. Fun fact don't tell people that you knew they were gay if they come out to you. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> I don't say this because I know, but I've heard a lot of people say that it sucks. <laughs> if you don't speak to people, like ever, you know, it surprises them when you say anything about yourself. <laughs> like, you're gay? I never would have guessed. Yeah, I don't fucking speak. <laughs> I talk to myself at night because I can't speak to people without having a fucking stroke. <laughs> Okay, let's get you hurrying up. There we go. Thank you. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed banging the door, like how I bang your mom every night. Yeah, 
You know, I will admit, me playing a horror game is actually making me a f so much more funny. <laughs> Usually I, I'm like a pretty quiet person. I, I've been trying to talk a lot more when uh, I stream, but sometimes I just go fucking silent. I don't know how long it's been. Um, can you fuck off? Dude. Look, I, I know. My question is who plays FNAF alone for fun? Good fucking question. Uh, me apparently. I mean, like, I'm mostly, I like, I'm doing, <laughs> I, I would say I'm doing this for the content, but I'm not doing this for the content. I, I got excited because I figured out how to record this shit on OBS, and I was like, oh, I want to stream it now, I want to do it so bad. <laughs> I mean, in my defense, uh, I originally bought this game because I was going to play it uh, while my friends were watching, but we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know <laughs> it is what it is and i'm determined to at least get to night six like i'm definitely n probably never gonna do 2020 hi like at least chica's commitment problems is like not like the lesbian version <laughs> of just I physically cannot leave you because I have attachment issues. You see, they, they take on the man's version of uh, attachment issues, which is, I will not, I will not get attached to you for fucking years. Ooh, are you leaving? No, you're not leaving. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Who is, can you fucking shut up? Dude, even I learned how to, like, st fuck. That one scared me. <laughs> even I learned how to, like, walk quietly at night, dude. Like, that, you're just being rude. Like, thank you for telling me you're moving, but, like, it's, it's just rude. Oh, yeah. I can't do more case my friends have to pre-fish it. I, I fucking believe it. Like, um... I used to be really bad, but I decided for my anxiety, because apparently giving myself a heart attack makes my anxiety better, um, I'm gonna start playing horror games more. Uh, I have phasmophobia and I want to play it. Thank you for the follow! I don't know how to pronounce TJ Tijokno? <laughs> Tijokno? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, um, I... I want to play Faz real bad, but I have to play it with friends, otherwise I'm just not going to fucking play it. I'm so good at- I'm getting another fucking White Claw. I can't do this sober. <laughs> I can't do this shit sober. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> We're getting a fucking watermelon. Who needs therapy when you can be just be an alcoholic instead? <laughs> but no, um... I want to play Faz. It's a really good game. Very fun with friends. Um, I just need to find, like, a full party of people. Like, I already got, like, one person, maybe a second. <laughs> it's been two days. Dude, no, my kind of friendship is, like, um, I haven't talked to you in, like, a month. Hey, yo, do you want to, like, hang out tomorrow? And they're like, hey, yo, brother, let's go. <laughs> Like, I, I have very few friends that I actively want to talk to on a daily basis, otherwise I have a stroke. Uh, if you get to that point, like, you, you literally transcended my abandonment issues. <laughs> Unironically. Like, I... Yeah, no... Like, that unironically is my friendship with one of my friends. Love him. Great guy. We've been friends since we were, like, both, like, fucking 14. Like, 12, I think, actually. Uh, love him. Totally cool. Uh, we, we, like, our friendship is just, on the daily, we will send each other bug memes. Because we both are really interested in reptiles and insects. Okay, Chica's out. Specifically. Um... 
And then, like, every few months we'll be like, hey, yo, you want to hang out, bro? And we're like, yeah, bro, when when you free? Like, that, that is our friendship. And, like, I, it's like nothing changed, you know what I mean? Like, we haven't hung out in months, but it's like, it, it's like we've been talking, like, every day since. Uh, <laughs> and, like, the true queer I am, I'm also, well, I tried being friends with both of my exes. That didn't really work out for the first one. Um, <laughs> but I'm friends with my second one. He's great. Also, I'm bisexual, but he's great. Um, love him to death. He's my favorite person. Uh, and... We literally will just, like, call each other every day, whether it's just, hi, I gotta go now, bye, love you. <laughs> like, like, he's the only person I'm actually dependent on, like, besides, like, my fucking family, like, calling me every day. Like, everyone else, like, I could go, like, a few months without literal any contact before I go, hey, are you alive, dude? And, like, the worst part is, like, everybody is, like, what the fuck are you doing? Do you not like me? And I was, like, it's not that I like you. It's that I like you and I trust you enough that I think that this is okay and that's my bad. <laughs> However, once I get to the point where I'm, like, I need you to talk to me every day, I can't go back. <laughs> and that's a personal issue of mine. <laughs> well, let me, let me explain to you. Uh, people on the internet in great detail what are my vices <laughs> like if that is an autism moment I don't know what is fucking cunt come here little bitch huh fight me fight me i'm small i am tiny i will wriggle out of your goddamn grip you cannot fight me you do not understand what you're getting into <laughs> it's me i don't know who the fuck you are hmm? you're looking like my future fucking stepson in this rape bitch you better shut the fuck up hmm Step kid, I should be more respectful, my bad. Who knows? Freddy might be non binary, I'd believe it. <laughs> Look, I I was on the internet when I was young. I, I know the shit we say about Freddy. Freddy Fags balls. Short person gym. Yeah, no, dude, I'm like five foot one. Like, I, I'm dead ass. I'm the shortest fucking human being alive. I was more than used to, like, a. Uh... No. Ooh. Okay. Um. I, I used to always be the shortest person in my class. Is that you? Yeah. Fucking maybe, bro. What is happening? Fuck off! It's like I'm clicking things and then it has. Mom? Why are you back? Fuck off! You too, woman! There's not enough women in this franchise for you to be a lesbian. Oh my god! Why is Freddy gone? <laughs> Stop singing! You're not talented! This isn't- this isn't the voice for kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. Mm. Hi, bitch. I know, I'm just so unbelievably attractive, you can't handle it. Can somebody decide whether the fuck they're gonna try to eat me or not? Please. Where is the fucking bear? Thank you for coming. A 
I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time, even. Where the fuck is the bear? Why am I checking the light? That is not going to help me. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm coping. Somebody is near me. I'd love to know who. I know I got to calm the fuck down when it comes to like the, 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 the what, what's it called, um, lights, but dude. Hello, Ethan. And yes, it is. And I've decided to apparently torture myself with this game. Merry Chrysler to you, too. Um, I... You think I'll live if I just... I'm, I'm just gonna sit here. You know what? All you fuckers... You know what? You know what? I'm gay. If you kill me, it's a hate crime. You will be reported to the police and they will do nothing. But the point is... Yep. If I get lucky, I might live this. Um, but yeah. I'm having a great time. Shoot <laughs> yourself. Right? Oops. Uh, apologies. Did not mean to... I did not mean to tab out the fucking moment. Oh. Oh, I'm still alive! Okay, yeah. Hi, Freddy. Um... <laughs> Uh, basically, I- hold on. Well, well, I'm dead. I might as well. Um, I just got my OBS working, which is- or not my OBS working, but I got it, uh, to work with specifically FNAF. Um, so I decided now is the fucking day. <laughs> I, um, I originally wasn't even going to stream today because I was tired yesterday and I just wasn't very talkative, so I was like, maybe I need a break or something. Um, and then I got FNAF working, I was like, okay, I am reinvigorated. Okay, so OBS, that's just my recording software. It, that's it. It's, it just, it wouldn't record uh, FNAF because you couldn't take it out of full screen. And I figured out how to make it. So, yeah. OBS is just a free uh, editing, so or not editing, recording software. It's very good. It's very good for free. It's just kind of laggy. That's kind of the only problem. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I finally got that working. Uh, very exciting for me. Because I wanted to stream this for a very long time. Uh, because the only other horror game I'm able to stream is Phasmophobia. Which I really do want to stream. But I don't have people to play with, and I can only get myself to play it with people. But Mortuary just does not run with OBS. It does not like it. So. We're doing FNAF. Because I'm smart. And I'm all, I only do, do, do things that make sense. I, I need to pace myself <laughs> I have to, to be that one that one reddit user with fucking see that because remember this is only not you know the first run I did of this I I was fucking on a roll I literally only died on night four but then I got stuck on night four um don't get him did you hear the actor <laughs> oh yeah, I heard about that. That shit's all over Instagram. That that's the main um social media I use. I actually do have an Instagram for um my my streaming and all that stuff. But yeah, I I saw that shit. Oh my god, the memes are fucking hysterical to me. Rubble Ray. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's a thing. 
Like, it's actually a thing. The guy who played Shag, the live action, um, the live action Scooby Doo, guy that was Shaggy, he is going to play fucking purple guy. I thought, I, I didn't even think the movie was coming out. <laughs> I thought that shit was rotting in the water, not even dead. I thought that shit was like fucking. The it was like just the skeleton left, like er, like all the flesh was eaten off of it, like that dead. Uh, I was wrong. Can we quit singing? This isn't the voice. Girl, I yeah, no, I I cannot fucking wait. Like, a part of me is like, oh, will he be, like, a really goofy villain? Because I kind of, I like it, but it's also like, I don't know how a serial child murderer is going to be made into a goofy villain. <laughs> Raggy, why were you murdering those kids? Like, Zoink Scoob, they ate the last Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Accurate. What the fuck is Chica doing? You know what? Is she coming after me so hard because I had Chick Fil A today? <laughs> yeah, no. If um, look, uh, I I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna have kids. I'm I'm, I'm pretty upfront about that. I kids are cool and all, but I'd never be able to live with one twenty four fucking seven. That's just not a thing I'd be able to do, especially if I was working. Let alone if I was just also taking care of the house. Like fuck that. Um. Yeah, no, if, if I ever had kids for some godforsaken fucking reason, and, like, they eat, like, the last of, like, my favorite snack, my favorite food, they are fucking dying. I'll hate cream them faster than a, than a fundamentalist when their kid comes out to them as gay. <laughs> like, like, I cannot stress this enough. I am... I do not. I'd be the father to accidentally kill the kid because I'm not at all gentle. I'm, I'm like the, if I ever become a parent, I'd be the one that's like so fucking awkward. I just like drop them, but I'm also, and I'm just frozen, like in place. And I'm like, uh, uh, like I am not, like I'd say I can be gentle, but like I have a lot of limits. Because I also have sensory problems. Um, so, like, loud noises fuck with me. <laughs> I actually break his spine. Bro, were you, like, <laughs> you gotta, like, karate chop it. They're not that delicate. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if, my, if, if I had a baby and it started crying in the middle of the night, I, I just fucking, I, it'd die. It die or it'd get left on the goddamn street. <laughs> I would not. I would not be good. Sensory twins pog. Now, now, um, are do you have the kind of tism that makes you a uh, not like socks, or the kind of tism that makes you love socks? I'm too gentle. I dropped the kid out of fear. Where are they? Why is Foxy deciding to be out right now? What is happening? But yeah, no, I believe it. Yeah, no, like, if, like, a kid, like, made a loud sound while I was holding them, it get drops. It, it's dropped. Thank you for the follow, Ethan. Uh, I am gonna be real. I'm not really diagnosed with anything, but, like, I'm more than 100% sure that I either have ADHD or autism. Uh, or at least some kind of sensory disorder, because I, if I touch anything wet with my feet, and it's not, like, actual water, I have a goddamn stroke. Hmm. Okay, make sure. Okay. Where is this bitch? Hello? Where is everyone? They're fucking gone. As I would try to hit a spine buster on my newborn son. <laughs> Bro, as a previous acrobatics, I like tell the kid to do a flip. 
And like, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna be like, do a flip. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, you just get him to smack wall. <laughs> like, like, my parents constantly talk about how much they want grandkids. I'm like, well, good thing you fucking already have one. Because it's not coming from me. <laughs> my wife would ask me to put my kid to sleep and I would put it in a sleeper hold. <laughs> nah, same though, bro. Oh my fucking god, these ungrateful babies. Is this what it's like to have a child? Look, this is why I'm pro-choice. <laughs> Look, the the child murderers could have been prevented if they were never born. <sighs> Stay away from me, sir. Stay away from me. I I don't like that he's gone. Is he already in the room? Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, like, my wife would, like, tell me, like, hey, can you, like, <laughs> permanently, you meant permanently, right? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. Once again, to pro wrestling, get, you know, I'm not in pro wrestling, but I get, like, intrusive, violent thoughts on the regular. Like, my dog barks, and I'm like, I'm gonna snap your fucking jaw in half. I'm like, wow, I should not own animals, like, five seconds after. <laughs> like, like, loud, sharp noises hurt me so bad that I unironically nearly start fucking sobbing. No, they get really creative. I... <laughs> Are you able to share with me these intrusive thoughts? Because I am fucking curious. God damn it. The whore is out already. The whores are out already. God fucking. The god. The bisexuals are here. Oh my god. The bisexuals are fucking moving at the speed of light. Oh my god. I know a state is like walk really fast. But like what the fuck bro. <laughs> like my 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 violent intrusive thoughts are very repetitive and it's very fucking annoying did your parents hurt you no not me at least i just have anger issues that were not at all dealt with mostly because of my own fault <laughs> Like, I, I said, I don't want to be a girl, so now I'm going to, like, think like a man. <laughs> I'm going to think like I'm going to raise as, like, a cisgender, like, 40-year-old man my entire life and just not talk about my problems. Uh, so, you know, that did not go well. Don't do that, kids. It's not a good idea. See off stage, yes he is. Okay, that's where Bonnie is. I love to know where Freddy is. Is he on the fucking floor? He was on the floor. <laughs> what if I punch kick locking to the climb on top hitting him with a swan to bump from the top through a table? You know, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. Like, like mine are like the kind of like savage, violent thoughts. Yours is just calculated, <laughs> and I see that in like the nicest way possible. <gasps> ha! Pussy, little bitch. Mm, this is why you're always the bottom in fan art. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out my new. See how she's doing. I'll be back here in 10 minutes. Alright. 
I hope they're doing well. Have fun with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am absolutely the kind that laughs on my own jokes, and I, I'm not apologetic. I don't know why I'm really like. My man's like getting into advanced shit. Like we're not we're not even like wrestling anymore. We're in like fucking football. I need I need the zen. If I make garlic bread, I'd have the zen, but that might take time. Look, ladies, we can talk about our problems <laughs> in any indie game. I don't like. This is also why you're at the bottom, Freddy. Um, I love painting. <laughs> yeah, FNAF, football, wrestling, and any small indie games. Yeah. Have you heard of Rain World? It it's not exactly like a super indie game, but. um. It's a really fun um, platformer. Yeah, they're uh, after years, they're finally able to get a DLC because I think they like finally like bought themselves back or something like that. Um, and it's gonna come out in January, and I'm gonna be playing a lot of that because it's really easy to run. So I will have a fucking stroke if my OBS tries to say that it can't stream it. Um, but yeah, no, really good game. It has a lot of interesting and fun content, so I recommend watching some videos on it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's really good. It's also really difficult. <laughs> uh, not exactly a horror game, but it will jump scare you. Kind of. But yeah, I fucking love that game to bits. I cannot wait for the DLC to come out. Because it adds so much- Can- Foxy, look. Look. I know I'm a sheep VTuber. I know I'm a sheep VTuber, therefore, like, it makes sense. But we don't have to do this, okay? I've had two cases of Dr. Pepper sitting in my bed. Bro, you sound like my ex is just like, oh yeah, I hammer through beers like like it's a fucking soda. And I sit there, I'm like, hey, I'm kind of worried that you drank that much. And he's like, dude, I feel nothing. I'm like, that's not making the case thing it is. But I believe you. <laughs> I'm holding back the urge to chocolate. Dude, you know how hard it is? Like, like I've come to, like, I also think I might have ADHD because, uh, lack of dopamine make me, uh, make me alcoholic, but these motherfuckers. Just make sure. Where the fuck is Freddy? They're all gone. That's kind of concerning. I just got them as a gift. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. Can you turn off? I hate how long it takes for the buttons to be pressed. Why are you being a whore? This is why I call you a slut. This is exactly why, Foxy. But I mean, like, <laughs> if you don't need to wake up tomorrow, which I assume you wouldn't have to because it's Christmas. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's really any consequences. <laughs> God, my nose is super stuffy. I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably because it's been getting really cold around here. 
Whenever it gets really cold, my nose either gets super stuffy or super drippy. There's never any in between. I'm just gonna start closing my door whenever I... I have a rainbow near next to an axe and machete. I mean, hey, your room sounds like a fucking vibe, though. Like, I, I'll admit every fucking day of the fucking week, I love plush animals. They make my life so much better. Um, but yeah, no, like, <laughs> maybe one day I'll, like, like, tape or glue, like, a empty white claw to, like, a, one of my stuffies. <laughs> Chance. <laughs> Dude. I'm sorry, I can barely fucking breathe. What the fuck is happening excuse the fuck out of me where is freddy is that his feet oh, you motherfucker you know the weird thing is whenever i get jump scared what is happening is the christmas card. oh yes yeah, no, like, whenever I get got, usually I'll, like, feel, like, a whole wave of heat, like, just course throughout my body, and that gets me more than, like, like the jump scare itself, usually. <laughs> but yeah, no, that, that one got me, because I wasn't expecting it at all. Whenever I expect it, it's not nearly as bad, because, you know, that's how jump scares work, but, um... Ew, that one fucking spooked me a bit. Like, Jesus. It's a chain fighter. I have a fighter reflex. I get scary. Just throw hands at anything near me. Did homie, like, punch their fucking <laughs> screen? <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I didn't look at you for five seconds, you attention whore. My god, it's impressive. It's honestly impressive how much you need to be looked at. Like, people say that, like, drag queens need attention, but, like, I argue that Foxy from FNAF 1 needs more attention than any fucking human being alive. Foxy like my ex for real. <laughs> nah, he like lied to my ex. It ain't the first, it ain't the second one, and then stalked me. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Oh my fucking, you little bitch! Fuck off. Also, I literally never like I saw like Freddy that one time when I didn't get killed by Freddy. But he hasn't showed up in that camera again. And it's really annoying. I've been lucky enough to not get stalked by anyone. I say lucky as if like that that's like a like a, a fantastic thing to not get stalked, but it's kind of just like keeping decency. But what do I know? What do I fucking know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'd say that's, like, lesbian behavior, but, like, lesbians just actually stay friends. They don't stalk each other, usually. If my love life was sound, it would be... If it was a sound, it would be the sound of an empty mustard puzzle when you squeeze it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all things considered, my love life, it's good. Uh, a question mark? Like, you know, me and my last ex, he's great, we're still friends. Uh, because gay me moment. Um. Like, that. yeah, that one? Oh, I know exactly what you're fucking talking about. Yeah, those bottles do not fucking shut up. Uh. When they're, like, remotely close to out. Where the fuck is the goddamn... Where is the god? That doesn't feel like it's there normally. Um, that doesn't feel like that's supposed to be there. <laughs> but what do I know? 
But yeah, no, like, like, I can't say that my love life is bad. Because I've, both of my relationships have lasted, like, one year plus. Uh, yeah, it's three people issues when your ex talks you young. Right? <laughs> like, I mean, it at least isn't a lesbian issue, I don't think. Okay, can you? Thanks. I hate that it, like, automatically throws your camera down, but it's also, like, that kind of makes sense. Where the fuck are you, you little furry bitch? Show me yourself. Come out of the goddamn closet. We all know you're gay. You are shipped with Bonnie or Foxy Never Chica. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You, th you think a little they them like me is gonna hurt you? Come on, bro. You've already killed me once. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. I don't make pe fun of people for being gay out here. I make fun of them when they're a bottom like me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna vibe. But yeah, no. First relationship went down the drain because uh, the guy just didn't like me anymore. Which is great for my self-esteem. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, even. Totally didn't destroy me. Um, and then was like, hey, let's stay friends. And I was like, okay. Mind you, we were like 14, but, you know. As a straight white I'm stereotyped as a horrible person. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes, man. <laughs> like, it sucks, but... Well, I'm never opening this door again. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's like, you are not a minority. Besides Christianity, you're a horrible human being. Can these furries fuck off? Can they fuck off? Ah! Oh, go away! <laughs> okay, first relationship ended after 24 hours. Look, if I die, it's not my fault. It's not my fault the furries were coming after my sweet ass. <laughs> it is not my fault. Second one ended in a lawsuit. Oh, hi, Foxy. That did not scare me at all. Hold on. I really need to go to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. But yeah, no. Um... Yeah, no, that's... I mean, to be, if I'm being honest, as someone who was raised as a Christian person, I can say this because I was raised as a Christian. Third ended after I found out she was dating four other people. What? Nah, I, got, I gotta ask. Are you, like, fourth is still going? Well, I'm glad the fourth is still going. Um... Good luck. <laughs> You've got a absolutely wild track record. Like, it's not even bad. It's just like... <laughs> Four other people. Wow. Like, like, that's not a good person, but I'm also like, I want to know how she does it out of curiosity. You know what I mean? Like, 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 I don't even want to ever do anything like that. I just want to know what it takes to do that shit. <laughs> like, oh my god. But yeah, no, like, I don't know, man. I feel like the Christian dating pool is horrendous. She was testing different flavors of all the different races. Ayo. <laughs> Amen. There's a reason why ice cream, there's like different flavors that are literally just different, two different flavors just in one. Hey, maybe she just needs to date someone who's mixed. 
get one get one of, one of them uh, melting pot dudes maybe, maybe she'll be like this is the one <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's horrid that is horrid maybe, maybe she was seeing if the rumors were true about like <laughs> the bigger the dick if they're black She was just morbidly curious. <laughs> oh my god. I remember one of her- <laughs> She said- Send to the black one, William. <laughs> nah. Mm. <laughs> In her words. <laughs> Send to the black one. Oh my god. I mean, at least she's not the one who stalked you, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just, that's just fucking wild. Like, I'm tired of the plain vanilla. I want the chocolate you have, yeah. Give, give, give me some of that sweet, sweet sugar, baby. I am your neighbor. <laughs> I mean, hey, if she ever needs Mexicans, um, literally just, like, look around a barn. I, I, I'm saying this as someone who has horses. I don't know why, but literally every single stall cleaner is a Mexican man. I, I don't know why. But every single one is. She had a Mexican. <laughs> no, no, she already had that shit unlocked. She was a one. I mean, would it would have been funnier if his name was Juan or Jesus. <laughs> Bro. Nah, was there any fucking race she didn't have on lock? Like, like I'm, I'm trying to, like, like, I'm, a, like, of course, she didn't have, like, a Native American, right? Like, those, those are literally only on, like, they, there was, like, none of them left, dude. And then there was the Brazilian. Uh, I only got one question. It was, was that like a woman? Say, hey, man, those. They're kind of. They kind of got that ass, though. <sighs> like, like, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> she was also trying to get with me. <laughs> oh my god, was she unironically just collecting the different races like Pokemon cards? That's how I found out! <laughs> she really said, look, look, I, I gotta, I gotta test every flavor, you know? Because that Native American was my best friend! <laughs> That's, <laughs> that is so fucking foul. Bro, this bitch really looked at you and said, I can fuck his friend too. <laughs> oh my god. Like, that, that's like so horrendous that like, I'm sad for you, but I can't stop laughing because it's so fucking stupid. That like, this went, that this went through somebody's mind, you know what I mean? Like, that must have been a horrible heartbreak. And I'm, I'm just seeing him like, bro, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards out here. Yeah, no, like, 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 she's one of those people who, like, takes the free samples, um, from, like, Costco. And, like, never buys anything. Like, 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 we'll just go there and take all the free samples that she can before she gets kicked out. <laughs> A uh, heartbreak was horrible. I imagine. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, I I cannot stress. I am so sorry that happened to you. But it's also fucking hilarious <laughs> that she ironically was just collecting the different races of human being. Like, uh, like, like what? Do, what? <laughs> like why? Like, why, why does she hope to gain?
name. So there's me, Juan, uh, William, Adam, Jonathan, and Sarah. Oh, so she was dipping into the, 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 the women's, huh? I, I ask only one thing. Because I, I don't know you. Um... I, I'm just really curious, was, cause, was this woman uh, also a Christian? Because <laughs> I, I have never met more like, more like kinky people than people who are raised as Christians, whether they stay in the religion or not. And that's coming from experience, my friend. <laughs> now, I've never cheated, but no, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, Christianity doesn't raise cheaters. They just raise like really fucking weird people. And I'm saying this as me. Dude, I discovered AOE AO3 and I had a fucking heyday. Sarah was a Satanist and Max was an atheist. Fair enough. Sarah? Oh, Sarah, the girl that. Okay. Yeah. I. So I assume, like, all the other boyfriends, like, didn't, and girlfriend, or partners, I guess, didn't really know about each other. So, like, it was all, like, a fucking, fucking, like, slap in the face. Like, what the fuck? Nope. Yeah. Hi, fucking god. The best part about it is, oh yes. I, I love how I'm just... <laughs> Dude, I, I like really want to go to the bathroom, but like I have to hear the rest of the story, you know what I mean? Me and all the ex-boyfriends started a D&D convention! <laughs> nah, that's funny as fuck. No, nah, that's something I do. Like, I, I'm a person who runs off of spite. Um, I pretty much, like, say to anyone who will listen that I am only alive because of spite. Uh, I will not let the people who are preying on my downfall win. <laughs> if someone ever cheated on me with, like, multiple people, I'd absolutely just be like, let's be best friends now. Uh, and let's all, like, completely destroy this bitch's, at, like, mental health. <laughs> Honestly, I've also really wanted to try D&D at some point. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to with some old friends. Um, well, one of them I'm still friends with, but the other two, not really. <laughs> uh, that that was a very fun experience to have. <laughs> Ugh. There's a reason why I have abandonment issues. <laughs> we were all so personally offended that she turned lesbian cheated on us with Fifty dollar dude. So we started where she was the villain. That she turned. So she was a lesbian, but then continued to fuck men. Like, like I, I, I call myself like a lesbian from time to time, but I'm bisexual. I just, I am attracted to like every flavor of woman. Meanwhile, I'm specifically attracted to himbos on like the male side. But, like, it's kind of, like, a joke. Like, I, I... I've fucked one man in my life. Yes. Wow. That is... Like, I get realizing after, but it's also, like, damn. I mean, I, I feel like the... The... Wow, this bitch fucked literally 50 other dudes... Is honestly kind of like a man. Maybe I dodged a bullet. <laughs> I mean, y'all obviously knew that before, but like, well, like she's not really sending the message that she thinks she's sending. You know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> No, I dodged a fucking nuke. Yeah, I believe this shit. No. Like, every day I tell myself I dodged a nuke with my first ex because uh, I stayed friends with him. And then I stopped being friends with him for trauma reasons unrelated to him. And then we started talking again. 
uh, and then a lot of shit went down, uh, like, a year after we started, like, being friends again, oh my god, and I'm like, well, at least I didn't date someone who told me, well, you're not going through enough to actually vent to me, uh, at least for a second time, <laughs> Oh, you're severely depressed and regularly think about dying? Hmm. Well, but I'm going through worries. I'm like, okay. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're proving the point that I think you don't care. But I don't think that's the point you were trying to prove. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know, man. I suggest you use the restroom because if I keep telling you about my love life, we would be here. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. You better still be fucking here because I'm going to be so sad if you're not. Like, you don't understand. Like, I don't, like, I, I need you to, like, continue telling me this shit. I'm sorry that my, my, my fucking VTuber is having a stroke. I'm now dancing in front of it because I think it's funny. Um, but stay there. I'm going to be right back because holy shit. I will be back. Oh my god, that was, that was, oh. <laughs> I love how my aunt, like, immediately, like, heard me come in and go, are you alright, kid? I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, are you alright? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but please continue if you wish. Because while I do feel bad for your misfortune, it isn't slightly entertaining to me. Like, I, how is it not, I'm sorry, like. Like, you're not entertainment, but, you know. What do you hear next? Um. Hmm. Hold on, I'm getting another white claw. If I die, then, then, uh, well, as God intended, surely. Um. Or the... I'm sorry, I do not know what that means. I'm assuming, like, you meant psycho or something? Psycho, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how to, like, actually spell that either, so I don't blame you. So don't worry about that. Dude, no, how the fuck do you spell psycho, though? Like, someone explained to me why that was that's an actual, like, word with that spelling. But, um, you can tell me that one, too. 
Oh, that is how you spell it. Yeah, that sounds right. But yeah, that one or the one that just broke up with you or like you guys broke up in like 24 hours. That one I'm, I'm more than slightly curious about. Yeah. It's weird. Hello, Murado. Um, I'm currently on night four. We're having an interesting time. I'm having a fucking stroke because I never can find Freddy. No singles. Ah. No habla espanol. <laughs> so the 24 hour one went like this. I think that's how you say I don't have Spanish. I hope so. I used my Rizzoli to get a girl. <laughs> Fantastic start. She broke up with me 24 hours later. Like, like, did she just go, mm, yeah, no, I'm done, like, already, or? But she didn't break up with me. Huh. What is happening? Where's the fucking- <laughs> Her mom. Also, I'm sorry, Morado. I, uh... I, I know you're surely trying to tell me something about Fred- Freddy? Fred Bear? Um... But I sadly could not read Spanish. You know, at this moment, my, my Spanish lessons would have helped me if I wasn't stupid. But I, I didn't really care as like a 12 year old. Where the fuck is the bear? Where's the goddamn free? But yeah, no, imagine like, that's wild. Like, were you guys, like, in school? Like, like high school or middle school or something when that happened? Because, like, I could never, like, t imagine telling my mom to, like, break up with someone for me. Oh, so if you find, or if you hear me, like, repeating names that's just because uh i like saying them and they're nice for me to say on my ears uh i play genshin impact and there's a few names like xingqiu uh shangling the raiden shogun that i like to say so if you hear me saying that uh don't mind me <laughs> Bitch! My apologies, my friend is. Ooh, I didn't throw that away. I thought I threw that. Oh my god, this one isn't finished. What the fuck? Why did I not. Why did I not throw this away? Or finish it. I'm so confused. Where is the goddamn bear? Where is the goddamn bear? This is why I'm an alcoholic. It's darn intended. Hello. It's me. It's me fucking your mom. Oh my god, can you fucking- It's 3am and I have 20%! Fuck. 
cracking open this damn thing because I'm already fucked. If only I had management skills. It's... I cannot have anything in this house. I cannot have anything in this goddamn house. It is what it is. But I'm also <laughs> like... <laughs> you just used like your infinite amounts of riz. To start dating a girl, and then she <laughs> tells her mom to break up with you for her. Like, that's just such a wild concept. <sighs> My god. Like, at least when I've been broken up with, like, it's 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 been from the partner themselves, not their fucking parents. I had to back, back. Had to set up Christmas. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I, we were talking about how, uh, you, you basically were just talking about, um, how the one that broke up with you in, like, one day, like, had their mom tell you. I think that's one. Yeah. But it's just so fucking wild to me. Oh yeah, no, like her mom texted me because the girl died. Oh my god, she got hit by a bus. Well. <laughs> Well, technically, that relationship did end in, like, 24 hours, huh? Fuck. No, and here I was, like, thinking, damn, this bitch just, like, told her mom to break up with you for her. Nope. Oh, yeah, uh, you know that girl that you asked out? She's fucking dead. Huh? Jesus fucking Christ, that's just, that's more than unfortunate. Jesus. <sighs> God. <laughs> that is that is just fucking depressing. <laughs> and then I the Rizzler. And then I grizzled her sister who was the psycho. Ha! He really said, well, the first one's dead. Are you fucking kidding me? How often do I need to check this goddamn camera? I don't need to check for anyone else besides Friday. And I never remember that besides once again. <laughs> Far off. They're all gone. But honestly, that must have been more than a horrifying experience. God. It's getting closer. Mm-hmm. So they break- so you guys break up, okay. One, two, three. I wake up in- in the middle of the night. One, two, three. One, two, three. Where is the fucking bear? Okay. Yeah, pretty pretty average night. 
I look out my window. Oh my fucking god. This crazy bitch. I wish I didn't. Okay, hold on. I don't know why it's not. Oh, okay, hold on. I have to allow that real quick. I need to look at my fucking chat shit. Allowing things. This crazy bitch is in my backyard. Okay, I'm taking that as... He's there. Yeah, no, that's... That's more than a fucking experience and a half. God, I can hear the music and I think I'm gonna die, but I don't know. You know, like, as an average person who has a gun, should. Like, if you have a gun, and someone's in your fucking backyard, and they should not be in your backyard, you get the fucking gun. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me close the door. Let me check. He's definitely right outside if he isn't now. If he wasn't before. I fire a warning shot. She runs off and I call the police. Show them the ring doorbell footage and she gets arrested. Good fucking thing. Because that is more than fucking horrifying. You know, if, if, if one of my exes, regardless of gender, fucking showed up on my front door in the middle of the night, I would call the fucking cops and I'd hope to God she's arrested. Or they're arrested. Stop. Yeah, I know, Foxy. You're an attention whore. I'm fucking trying, bitch. No, I'm with my current girlfriend. Well, I hope that fucking works out. Because if it doesn't, things might not go well. As a, as 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 the track record has shown. Jesus. You know how did you tune me? By the way. I'm talking about you and your current girlfriend. There's no way I can win this. Well, obviously there's a way not to win night four, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Motherfucker! I need to keep a way better eye on Foxy, obviously. Can you fucking come in? I wonder if this is where... They got that. Hmm. From the puppet. Like, the puppet inspiration. Hi, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I mean, it was fine. Just killed me faster. Hold on, I just want to pull up my OBS to see that it's actually recording well. Or still recording. <laughs> I don't know why on my death screens it always gets super pixelated. But it does. Ooh, maybe one day I can play. Be mad at the tabletop game shorter or okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, that, that sounds like a fun little thing to do. Um... I, I'm not sure if I told you when you were in stream or watching, um, but basically I'm like, my living situation is I'm living with my aunt's family because, uh, sold our house and, uh, I have horses 
you know, my aunt's family has property and a barn and stuff. So it's just so much cheaper to keep the horses here until um, we buy or until the house that we uh, are trying to buy actually goes through and all that shit. Um, so I'm, I'm at my aunt's house. But once uh, I move up with my family, there's this cute little, little, um, I don't, I don't think it's family owned, but I know it's like, I, I don't know what to say besides like independently owned, like coffee place that I'm probably going to work at. Uh, so that would be nice. Because currently I'm, I'm, I'm not even in college. I, I've done like a year's worth of college, but, eh. But I really need a break because I was in severe burnout. Uh, and also severely mentally unwell. <laughs> um, but honestly, a part of me can't wait. Even though it will take away time from just vibing. Like, I just... I need something to do. I need something that actually guaranteed gives me money, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, maybe I'll make friends too. I'm a very antisocial person with severe anxiety, so hopefully it'll... It'll be a good experience. No fucking way, Ethan. No fucking way she ironically just dumped you. Surely you would just. Oh. Freddy, now's not the goddamn time. It still wants to be friends. <sighs> Look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I'd love to give you advice. Uh, first relationship, entire friendship relationship. The first person went down the goddamn drain after we broke up. And then we decided to be friends. And then... I ghosted them for, oh, she's in three months. I mean, I mean, like, okay. Like, absolutely, it sucks. But it could be worse. Like, this could be, like, several years in. You know what I mean? Non-engagement ring for Christmas. Oh, that's rough. Oh, bro! All these people on Reddit like complaining that their like partners, usually male, won't give them any gifts. Kept asking for it. Yeah, bro. Bro, that sucks. Okay, can I stop getting fucking bombarded? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That that actually really sucks. I mean, I'll, I will I will exchange my tale of my latest breakup, mostly because it's entirely positive, <laughs> like not pos not like good, but like we both knew it was happening. You know what I mean? We both knew it was going to happen, so it hurt a little bit less, it, it, like, for months. Um, me and my ex-boyfriend, great guy, love him, love him to death, we're still friends. Uh, we were, we met roughly two years ago, two and a half maybe, at this point. And at a point he asked me out, a few, like, two months after we met, started actually talking and being friends. And I was like, fuck it, let's give it a shot. Um, I was mostly kind of neglectful. Ended up, like, taking time apart. And then we got back together a few months later. Um, and all was good. Until we realized that uh, we had vastly different ideas of where we wanted our futures to go. Which was uh, him moving to Florida because he wants to fish. And me staying with my family, which is like mid mid north <laughs> in the middle of the goddamn america mid north um 
because I'm very attached to my parents, especially my mom. And I, and also because he really wants kids and I realized that I would never be a good parent in any fucking universe. <laughs> Like, like, like there, it's not that I don't have any, like, parental instincts. It's that I'd never be a good parent and I'm not going to create a child just to be a shit parent. You know what I mean? Um, so, in fall, like, mid, late fall, the fuck do I do with a $650 ring? Uh, bro, I'd love to fucking tell you. I I would love to tell you. I don't know. Like, I asked myself, why did I buy all my, like, these people that I don't talk to, buy, why did I buy this, them, this shit? Jesus Christ, the alcohol is flowing. Um, but yeah, no, um... Sheesh. I don't know. Um, could you, like, gift it to some, like, friend, family? Say, hey, I think this might be your style or something. Fuck off, Friday. Now's not the time. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you text called her every day. In my experience, uh, with women, I just wanted to make sure she was all right. Yeah. In, in my experience, that is a good thing. Because I, I think I think more like a male or a guy, I guess. Because non-binary moment. And also because I have severe abandonment issues, but instead of, like, taking it as, like, uh, I'm going to now be super clingy, I'm now going to not attach myself to anyone. Uh, I, I was talking to a girl for a while. Really liked her. Um, fantastic. Literally nothing wrong with her. Like, like she also had abandonment issues, but it was in, like, sense of, can you actually check in on me? And But I, I, I don't do that because I have problems. <laughs> Like, in my experience with most women, most people in general, they like to be checked in on. Even if they say they don't need it, usually they, like, like knowing that somebody cares. And I, I feel like since most people are like, yeah, please check in on me. Please love me in any kind of way. Like, I feel like it's kind of understandable to just go with that. Especially with women, because in my experience, a lot of us just, or just a lot of people, because I'm not a woman. <laughs> I'm not binary. I'm a, I'm a they, them. <laughs> but a lot of women, and even, like, non mine a lot of people in general, like, men don't expand it, but I've, I've kind of realized that, yeah, you like to be checked in on. You want to make, like, you want, like it when people, like, actually care enough to ask if you're okay. You know? So... I, I, that's probably not the problem. And it honestly, like, it, it might not even be your problem. Did she think I was ugly? If she thought you were ugly, you would not have been given the chance to begin with. That is what I will say. If she thought you were ugly, you would not have been given the chance in the first place. Is that right now? <laughs> well, I definitely know you're a straight man now. Okay, so, I I'm gonna be real. Ryan Reynolds is hot to everybody, but Ryan Reynolds to women is not the 10 out of 10. Ryan Reynolds is very close to it, but for men, like, 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 I've come to realize that, like, straight men are straight until Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds is in the room, right? I don't blame them. He's hot as fuck, and he's also really funny. Um... But if someone is attracted more to women, he's not quite a 10 out of 10. Like, Ryan Reynolds is not the standard, I don't feel. I feel like Jason Momoa is the standard. <laughs> you know, fucking Thor? 
That's the standard. No, Deadpool's like like a uh, comedy. His his sense of humor might be the standard, but Jason Momoa and con- concept of body and face that's the standard. But yeah, no, like in my experience, and also like talking to guys, because I, I did have a decent amount of guy friends. If they don't think you're attractive at all, they will probably not give you a chance in the first place. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, if you have Ryan Reynolds' personality, you're like infinitely more attractive than most guys, to be honest. Like, if you're Deadpool incarnate, women will love you. Including men. But basically everybody will love you. Romantically and sexually. But, y'all know, like, uh... I don't... I I don't think attractiveness was the problem. Because it also very well could have been her own issues. You know what I mean? Because, like, I mean... But when I I think about it, cause so I was gonna surprise her with because I cook, bro. She dumped a man that cooks. <laughs> nah, that was her mistake. <laughs> that was her fucking mistake. She's never gonna find a single other goddamn man that ever cooks in her life. Let me tell you. What do I do with the things I bought for? Make yourself a great fucking meal. Because in my own experience, in my own experience, I I have had an eating disorder before. A good fucking meal completely lifts my spirits. I had one for fucking years. And now that I'm finally like eating like a normal goddamn human being, like meals make me feel so good. Good meals. Like my, my aunt recently made a really good pasta with a really good meat sauce with garlic bread and oh my fucking god <laughs> like I, I i'll be honest i've been in a very bad like rut i guess had a lot of depressive thoughts passive active kind of suicidal thoughts good meals they will completely make a difference and it doesn't matter when you make them too Maybe I'll make him a filet mignon wrapped in bacon with a three cheese mashed potatoes and asparagus. Sir, can you marry me? <laughs> like, 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 I'm attracted to a very specific kind of man, but will you please marry me? <laughs> no way. My fucking God. If someone, like, like, if someone cooked me a meal that I really like, you know how fast I'd fucking marry them? I also, oh my god. Oh my god. You know how fast I'd marry someone if someone made me some tandoori chicken with butter sauce? You know how fucking fast I'd do it? (laughs) Three smokers in my backyard. Where the fuck do you live, bitch? <laughs> like, 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 ironically, but also unironically. <laughs> I cannot stress enough. I have my own rug, compound butter for all the meats you smoke. You see, this is why I have depression. I don't have like the balls to actually ask people I like out and then and then and then people who would cook me the best meal of my fucking life uh get dumped three months in. <sighs> like 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 why? Like, oh my god, like, like, I, like, I'll, I'll admit I'm not, like, the best cook. 
chick or anything. But fuck, I can make a mean chicken. Bake! You're a man who loves to bake? What is wrong with your exes? What is wrong with them? You like to bake cakes and pies? Fuck you, Foxy. Shut the fuck up. I find it calming. You know, you know how much, you know how, how much I'd love, how much I'd love if my ex-boyfriend, I'm talking about the, the, the recent one, would have loved, if how much I would have just absolutely stayed with them if they baked with me. Like, like, I, I'm, I'm not like really good at cooking. Again, I'm not really good at cooking things. But I will fucking try, and I love baking. I ever since I've made, I I came to my aunt's house, I've made so many fucking brownies, and I don't usually even eat them that much. Like brownies are good, obviously I'll eat them when they're available. But like, 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 I'm not the one who eats them the most. Like, like. Oh. <sighs> Hmm? Hmm? A non-holiday- I'll go down to my local soup kitchen and just cook? You know, every day I understand more and more why men are like, the dating scene fucking sucks. Every day, more and more, I do understand. It calms my nerves and helps me de-stress. Honestly, I love to cook like that. It's just, uh, for me at least, uh, depressive episodes are a fucking bitch. <laughs> and I could barely get myself out of bed most days. So. But yeah, no, like, cooking is really fun for me. Especially with, like, someone I care about. Someone that I'm, like, friends with. Um. I cooked my favorite meal a while, not that long ago, uh, with my mom. And it was really fun for me. I really enjoyed it. So. I don't know, like, like, like. How? How do you leave a man who bakes? They call me bakey. How do you leave some, a man, a man who bakes? How? I'm fucking curious. I am fucking curious. <laughs> I'm, I am genuinely molding over here. I am fucking, I'm, I'm, What's the word? <laughs> Seething with rain. How do you leave a man who bakes? How do you leave a man who bakes? Okay, we don't look, we don't open that door uh, whenever I whenever I uh do a ye old uh, camera out. You paint and bake? Look, I, I don't talk to the bitch anymore, but like, but like, like, if I did, I'd be fucking asking you for your number to give to her. Like, like how? You enjoy poetry! You are the man who people fantasize about. You understand this, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I enjoy these technically feminine things, but I don't care because they're enjoyable. What?
like, it's not even, like, the bar is low. It's just, like, dude. Even when the bar is high, you can't find guys like that. Like, someone fucking tell me how the shit that works, dude. Dude, I cannot maintain power around this. No, I... I just night. <sighs> yep. Fuck! I let the damn baron. Nope. Yep, I let the damn baron. That was my bad. Shit! Sub like a Tinder bio. <laughs> Please do. I'm curious. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that. Now we're just gonna leave it for a minute. Yeah, it's me fucking your mom. What about it, Freddy? I'm giving them the child that they actually love enough to monitor when they're in a fucking sketchy ass pizzeria. Shut up. One, two, three. Okay. Sorry. Freddy's move. I'm sorry. I have to put whole, both headphones on. I don't know why, but I don't like it when my my headphones are on my right ear. Eat my ass, Foxy boy. One, two. I don't feel the need. Freddy's close. One, two, three. I can't hear whether they're on one side or not. Scheiße. One, two, Fuck off, Freddy. I'm eating. I'm six foot, von male, who enjoys baking, art, poetry, and I'll occasionally take walks through nature. Love my pet dog, Rocky. On Sundays, I cook, smoke, and bed. Local cookage. But if that doesn't sound interesting, I'm a very kind person who will listen to all your rants and feelings, try my best to get by so needed. I'm a little quiet, but I open up when you get to know me better. Yeah, that sounds like an average Tinder profile. Like, like, I mean, average, like a, like a normal amount to tell. You know what I mean? Like, not, not like oversharing. Someone's here. But yeah, no, like. <laughs> that sounds pretty like, you know, normal, normal, like, dudes. 
link thing, Tinder profile, like just telling you about themselves. Should I probably should have those leave on there? Who fucking cares, dude? Dude, it's normal for people to like anime. If if they're like, oh my god, like watching cartoons and anime's immature, like that that that's like that's a red flag on them, dude. That's a red flag on them. Oh my god, this fucking little bitch! Can't wait for Monday. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, I assume like Monday's when you start going to work again or something? Bro, I'm at 3 a.m. and I'm out of- I'm- How do I do this? Okay, okay, how do I do this? Surely there's a way, and obviously I know that, like, looking at the cans doesn't help, but, like, I'm just trying to think. And, like, the sound of the camera is calm as me. On Monday, I go to visit a as an elf and deliver toys. Bro. <laughs> Bro, you are like the, 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 the example that's like given to kids whenever they're talking about like a true Christian. You work for a soup, like work for like a soup kitchen, I, I assume that's what you call it. You, uh, on, on Monday you're going to a special elf to deliver toys, like, you bake and you cook. Oh, hi Foxy. Like, <laughs> my man out here really is, like, the best scenario. Like, who fucking cares if you're, like, not, like, a 10 out of 10 attractiveness? To be honest. But I also believe that, like, if you're not, like super conventionally attractive like dating sites just don't really work because uh i'll admit uh at least in the, the pictures before i'm a five but from the sounds of everything else makes it like a 10 <laughs> yeah basically like um i i'm a younger person i'm like 19 um and before, when I was really skinny, I used to weigh like 90 pounds, like probably like around 100 or 110. I haven't weighed myself recently since I've gained weight. Uh, but I honestly looked like a fucking child. Uh, and on dating sites, I would get like almost exclusively talked to by 30 year olds or like 40, 50 year olds. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Um. Uh, and like I wouldn't say I'm a very conventionally attractive person. Like I can be attractive in certain traits, but it's just like my my face isn't that amazing. That's just how it is, bro. Um, I don't really mind. Not on Tinder or dating sites. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Like, like unless you're like actually conventionally attractive, it, like ten out of ten, it's like a fucking scam. Especially if you're a male. I prefer to meet others in person. Yeah, I believe it. I don't blame you at all. <laughs> if I didn't have horrid anxiety, I, I would I would meet people in person. But uh sadly I do. But yeah, no, like I, I went on this uh, lesbian dating site called Zoe and uh, I was basically almost exclusively um added, I guess by people who are significantly older I me mean, like are you kidding me because <laughs> like um but anyway, I have an apple pie in the oven right now I don't fucking blame you <sighs> I'd have an apple pie if I was you homemade ah! <laughs> you know what I do if fucking 
if, if like a partner of mine made me fucking homemade like brownies you know i don't even like pie but if someone if my partner looked at me and said i'm making you homemade apple pie i would fucking eat it i would eat that shit so fast <laughs> Like, I'm a picky bitch, but, but but if I see that someone who's put a severe amount of effort into it now, I'm going to fucking eat that shit. Oh, you motherfucker. I literally just put the light on you and you weren't there. What was I supposed to do? Little bitch. Once I take it out of the oven, I'm going to sprinkle the sugar shim in the mix. Ooh, that sounds nice. And yeah, that sounds good. I'll admit, I'm not a very big fan of pies because uh, I, I have a texture thing when it comes to most... Uh, hold on, I'm going to go get a white claw. Another one. Because I, I need alcohol for this shit. Crust is a shape of a heart. Oh my god. God, <laughs> how? Somebody tell me how the fuck? Ow, that shocked me. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Like how? All of these bitches are crazy, and they managed to pull you. Like someone tell me. Someone, someone, explain to me, a clearly dumb bitch, how this happened. Like, if, if somebody made me, like, a cake, I don't really like cakes or pies that much. If someone made me a fucking cake or a pie in the shape of a goddamn heart, I would eat that shit. I would eat with no complaints. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, uh, I don't know why, but pies give me a texture thing. Uh, well, I, I know why. It's because you're baking, like, all the fruits, the vegetables, etc. inside of the thing, and I don't like that feeling. The crust is fine. Uh, it's just like the, the insides that I don't like. But my fucking god. You know, like, someone, someone tell me how, how these people are finding, like, a, have you tried a smoked turkey before? So... My father is very into like cooking, all all smoking, barbecuing, all this shit. I don't like turkey. You can't make me like turkey. I don't think I've tried to smoke turkey before. I don't really like pulled pork because to me it's weird. I made the most of my recent exes. I made one for most. Oh, for my most recent. Like I imagine, like objectively, it's good. It's just I don't like turkey. I, I, I cannot tell you why. I don't know why I don't like turkey. I mean, I do know why. I don't like the taste. It's not even a texture thing. I just don't like the taste, and I don't like that fact that it's super dry. Like, uh, I don't like mashed potatoes, actually. And it, it's not because, like, I, I dislike a taste or something. It's that I physically cannot eat them because the texture makes me throw up. And that's on... Do not try to force feed your kids because my dad tried to make me eat mashed potatoes and now I still can't eat them or anything of that texture like yams and shit. I, I literally cannot eat it without throwing up. So don't don't do that to your kids. So, yeah, to say the least, that didn't fucking work for him. <laughs> um... I don't know. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, turkey is just, I don't like it. It's not even me being like, oh, it, um, sensory problems. It's just, I don't, I don't like the taste. I don't like the dryness. You're going after all the grown hatred. Hi, Jeffrey. Thank you for this chat. But yeah, no, I completely agree. Uh, I'm someone who has like several sensory issues. I haven't been diagnosed with anything yet keyword yet um but i have very weird problems with like certain things like oh if my feet are wet i have a fucking stroke if a sharp loud sound happens i'm going to kill something around me um 
all of that good shit. Um, and my dad, when I was younger, before most of my sensory issues came to be, to be honest, or at least weren't exposed to me, um, tried to feed me mashed potatoes. I don't like mashed potatoes. I never have. The texture always fucked with me. Always did. I think my dad just thought I was being picky and didn't realize that this was actually something that was making me throw up. Sensory issues? Uh, okay. So, sensory issues is, like, for me, I'd probably say the best thing was a roasted salmon with nice honey garlic glaze. That sounds great. I just don't like fish. But I imagine that was absolutely fucking amazing. Um, but, Jeff, uh, sensory issues is, like, so, shit, I'm sorry, I'm trying to multitask, hella. So, it's like, somebody touches you, and it, or like, some sound happens, and it physically hurts you. Like, my, my, my friend with ADHD, who's also my ex, but we don't talk about that because, you know, he's a good friend of mine, I don't care. Uh, he has ADHD. Touching styrofoam physically hurts him. Why? I don't fucking know. I'm not the one who hates styrofoam. But I understand because, uh, whenever I have, I touch, like, whenever I walk on something that's, like, moist, but not, like, water moist, I have a stroke. Whenever, um, sorry, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to, like, focus and, like, try to do this shit, but I'm kind of, I'm a little tipsy. I'll, I'll be real. Um, but, you know, it's, like, touching styrofoam hurts. Uh, whenever I get sick, when, or I know I'm getting sick because every time without fail, everything hurts my skin. I cannot wear clothes. It hurts my skin so severely that I start crying no i'm like i'm a legal adult skipping on carpet yeah no i believe it like like there are just things that people cannot handle like um because my dogs in particular are horrible about procking that shit for me uh i love my dogs i love them so much but um like, 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 there's, like, a difference between hating mouth sounds because, like, it sounds bad and I physically cannot stand them and it makes me want to have a meltdown because of them. So, because my dog, right, he has, like, a, um, my German Shepherd, he has, like, a physical birth deformity on his skull. He, his nose, it's, it's straight deformed. It, he cannot breathe out of his nose hardly. But... The main problem I have with him is that he will not stop fucking licking himself all the time. I cannot sleep when he licks himself, and it's all the time. And it's a huge problem for me, because it happens, again, all the fucking time, and I constantly am about to have a meltdown around him. And it's just really bad. Um, I don't really have a problem with smells. Because I, I, I unironically cannot smell most of the time. But sounds, feeling, those are my things. Um, and I guess taste. But I feel like it also kind of goes under the, 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 the category of feeling. Because um, I, I'm just going to let myself die because I'm going to die no matter what. Sound, smell, misdirection, misfortune. Basically. <laughs> like, um... Like, I cannot eat mashed potatoes because of the texture. I think that's always been a thing for me. But my dad really tried to make me eat mashed potatoes. Because I think... Because I've always been a picky kid. I was always a very picky kid. Um, and I thought he think I was... Thought... I think he thought I was actually just being picky. But I literally couldn't eat it because of the texture. I cannot eat anything that is of the consistency of a smooth mashed potato texture. I can't. I cannot stomach it. It will make me throw up. Uh, he's... Tr my father... I, I have a great relationship, by the way. He's tried to make me eat things that are like mashed potatoes. Eventually, he just fucking learned to not make me try to eat that shit because I couldn't do it. 
Like, there were things where, like, broccoli, oh, that was just me being picky. That was unironically just me being picky. But mashed potatoes, that was not me being picky. That was me having an actual severe issue with something. Um, so, like, but, you know, I can't smell shit. Like, whenever, whenever I can smell anything, it's a very strong scent, and often people associate with a negative thing. Like, I can smell cigarette smoke, I can smell gas, I can smell, like, literal shit. That's, like, only severely strong smells I can actually smell. Um, and because of that, like, it's not negative for me. Like, eventually, like, cigarette smoke became negative for me, because, you know had several grandparents and several people nearly die from cancer so you know i don't really like it anymore but like <laughs> but that's association that's not like sensory problems but i have very I, I think i have very good hearing uh and i have a very very strong like sense of feel so food is a very fun thing for me it's fun I really like ice cream, but I hate mashed potatoes. Especially because, like, everyone's like, how the fuck do you hate mashed potatoes? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I wish I knew. <laughs> like, like you think I want to hate mashed potatoes? I don't. Like, I, I, I've tasted mashed potatoes before. I know they're good. It's just I physically cannot not... I, I physically can't eat it. So, Yeah. But yeah, no, like, like, hearing certain things actually makes my skin crawl. I cannot handle hearing certain things. Like, nails on a chalkboard, it's not that it sounds bad, it's just knowing that feeling. It, it like, gets under my, my hands and my nails, and I just, ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. He's definitely not here yet. He hears the music when you when he's here. But you know, like I, it's not my thing, bro. Like I wish because it's like mashed potatoes goes with so much shit, right? But it's just not. It's just not something I can do really. It really annoys me because I want to. I really want to be able to enjoy this kind of food, but I just, I can't. And honestly, I feel like, um, the fact that my dad tried to make me eat it so often, like, made it worse. Like, I could have possibly gone out of it, but I don't think I ever will now. Especially so because, like, the constant fear around the mashed potatoes. It's like, I don't think I'll ever eat up. Because it's like, I, I've known what's happened through all the years, so what's the point? Like, broccoli, other vegetables, all that shit. I might not like it, but I can eat it. But mashed potatoes, I physically can't eat it, so. It's fantastic. I'm so fucking fast. Oh, I'm so sexy like. Mmm. Mmm. God, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I say as I can't get past the fourth night. Back pies out of the oven. Nice. I hope you have a good pie. I really do hope your pie is good, though. But yeah, no, I don't know why, but like baked vegetables, cooked even like cooked baked vegetables. I don't know why. I just can't do it. Including fruits. Which is why I don't like pie, usually. 
I need to chill. Let the stress flow out of your body. Who cares if the bunny murderer bitch is there? Oh, good thing I closed that. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to piss again because this is my fourth white claw, I believe. Yes, this is definitely my fourth white claw. Come on. I should have closed this door. Hopefully I'm not dead. <laughs> Shit. Also, I will probably... Do you want to hear the poem here I just wrote? Fucking sure, dude. I will listen to it. I'll read it. Uh, I also do want to say I'm probably going to post this VOD on uh, my YouTube channel. It's not like I get many views on my YouTube channel, but, you know. I'll probably throw it on there because FNAF and, you know, FNAF videos get decent amounts of views. How oh, I had 28? I was doing good before. God damn it. Everything is fine. It's going to be two parts. It's fine. Don't worry. I really need to complete my Discord, though, because Twitch limits. Oh, yeah, I know. We love Twitch limits. They're totally not annoying whatsoever. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, hi, Foxy. That's fine. Uh, I did get pretty far, though. When you post the second part, I'll read it out. Unless you don't want me to, of course. <laughs> okay. So the moon, a glowing orb of light hanging in the sky at night, constant presence ever bright, guiding us through the darkest night. Its pale face, so serene and fair, reflecting the sun's rays of care. A beacon of hope, a symbol of love. From above, it watches us from above, as it rises. Sorry. As it rises high in the starlit sky, it fills the world with its soft, gentle light. Hi, <sighs> trying to read a poem. This is fun. A beauty that cannot be denied. A sight that fills our hearts with pride. So let us pause. Take a moment. Take a moment. To gaze upon the moon's radiance and find peace in its luminous presence. Presence. That's the word. Yep. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> for, for in its glow we find solace. It's a pretty, it's a pretty poem. I like it. Ah, I didn't mean to pull up the camera. You know, I really got to take like those uh, voice acting classes because, you know, non-binary moment, but also like, what if I one day became the mommy I truly wish to be? <laughs> Well, that would be cool, especially if you can get like shit like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> ah, yeah, I know. Oh, you motherfucker! Shut the fuck up, Foxy, you little bitch! Yeah, I casually writing poem while <laughs> drawing. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, my fucking lightweight ass. Like, like, yeah, sure, I gained weight, but still. Merry Christmas Eve, child. <laughs> Don't call me a child. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. 
But Merry Christmas Eve to you too. Um. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I I I started streaming FNAF because I realized that uh I I or not I realized that's toxic. You know what's toxic, Cora? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I don't want to be mean. Because I'm scared that I'll be mean. Um. But, uh. What was I going to say? I found. I figured out a way to record FNAF on OBS. So we're doing that. Well, eating pie. That kind of sounds like the dream, though. Say it, coward. You know what's toxic then, Cora? Asking me to constantly wail on your fucking account. <laughs> It's not my fault you don't have money, bitch. <laughs> also, I'm sorry I haven't been making any sketches for the past few days. I've just been fucking totally down the gutter with uh, inspiration. I only said if once. No, 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 you didn't say if once. You did not say it once, my friend. <laughs> but random poetry prompt. Oh. Your girlfriend becomes the moon. Proof. Bitch, do you think I have screenshots of my last 20 streams? Just look at them. My proof is in the VODs, bitch. <laughs> I don't even need pictures anymore. There ain't so many VODs I can just fucking pick one. <laughs> It'll probably be right. So no proof then? Bitch. Shut. Shut. So I didn't. <laughs> nah, you're about to, you're about to make me fucking uh, expose you to my Discord. <laughs> I mean, at that rate, I might as well figure out. You know, the day I expose you to my Discord is the day that I actually figure out a bot to make the role of uh, announcement wander. Are you too? <laughs> So how many drinks? Four. It could be worse. I could do more. Cause I actually physically need drinks so I don't have nightmares. Cause if I pass, cause the theory is, um, cause I always have nightmares whenever I, for a while. I have an idea for that problem, but I need to write it as she's still my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's still your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aggro when you drink. No, I only ironically become so aggressive when I drink because it's like, I, I cannot stress enough. My anxiety goes away when I drink and that's my problem because I have, I probably have the tism or ADHD or both. So like I suddenly have the fucking ego of a god. And, um, I mean, I've been diagnosed as both by several friends, so, um, you know, we're having a great time in this house. I've also been drinking, but I don't feel like shit. Yeah, but I don't feel shit. Oh, so you're not, you're not a lightweight like me? <laughs> you didn't have an eating disorder for several years? Wow. <laughs> we all have a little bit of autism. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> like, 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 people use autism as, like, an insult, but I'm just like, bro, I can list, like, 20 traits of autism that you have specifically. Magna- Imagine being a lightweight. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I would say something. Not as an insult to you, but more so I'm, uh my own trauma but i don't want to trauma dump anymore because uh someone who asked me to tell them what was wrong decided that i was a horrible evil human being for telling them what was wrong 
So I guess that's the aggressive thing I will say. <laughs> not as drunk chatter and a guy who writes poetry. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I love how, like, Korra is, like, genderless as well because I have no fucking clue what the fuck they are. I'm just like, they exist, bro. <laughs> they my buddy. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sketch their VTuber like my life depends on it when I eventually get some fucking uh oh hi Foxy. Some uh what what's the word? <laughs> Inspiration Cause again, I'm drinking not even for the initial horror. But because I get such horrible nightmares for weeks on end that I'm just trying to put myself asleep to sleep before I have to go to sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> Be right back with opening presents. I'm fine. I hope you get good presents. I hope you have a good night. Good day. Christmas. That thing. I'm not spending it with my parents, so it's great. <laughs> I'm crying. Me in the fucking mood, bro. <laughs> Bro, are you you be looking like Sokka over here? <laughs> ah, homie looking like Sokka. <laughs> we must steal the moon, bro. Bro, you ironically become Sokka and Gru at the same fucking time. How did you do it? Ethan, we need answers. <laughs> we need answers, Ethan. The moon! And like all your friends are like the minions. <laughs> Damn. Girlfriend moon. Soak a moment. Soak a moment. We doing Avatar the last airbender, bitch! Let's go! I mean, honestly though, that would still... Two farts again. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I'll probably, I'm, I'm also gonna just say right now, I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom after this uh, one. I'll read that in a moment. It's not my fault that Foxy's a little whore. That, um, that needs attention at all times. She's like a, he, he's like a lesbian girlfriend because she can <laughs> Like, that's not even speaking from specific experience. This is just speaking from the lesbian experience in general. Just being supremely clingy. Um. I'll, I'm, I hope you don't mind, but I'm probably going to read that uh, after this night. Whether I live or not. Bitch! I caught you! I caught you too! Whores! Eat my ass! Eat my ass! You don't care? Okay, Pog. Eat my ass! I'm gay as shit. You think I care about being pegged? <laughs> Chico, we know fully well there aren't enough women in this thing to be lesbian. Get out of here! Get out! I'm just running. I mean, you're not wrong. It is when you write the best. I mean, I wrote some good ass shit when my friend uh, decided to ghost me after several years of friendship and then didn't tell me why, what I did wrong. Um, and which I will admit, oh, hi Foxy. Well, I will admit, number one, that I was the wrong in that situation because I didn't talk to her enough and she probably felt supremely lonely. Um, but in my defense, I was, I was, uh, doing several attempts on my own life. <laughs> I, 
I will elaborate if asked, but if you don't, that's fine. Um, but yeah, no. That went well, especially when she ghosted me, and then I went, like, well, this is why I don't tell people why I'm dead, why I want to kill myself. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, let me just go to the bathroom real quick. I will become speed because I've had to piss several times and become speed so I can become speed. Let's go. German Shepherd has joined me. You know, it's 60 fucking degrees in my goddamn thing. My garage. It is so fucking cold. I don't care. I'm just wearing potion because it's like I found a chat by who can't write anything. So I'm gonna have it right up now for Spreader vs. Batman series. Wow, that is interesting right there, my friend. Anyways, <coughs> my girlfriend wants a shining star, has now become the moon, a glowing orb of light so far, but always there, a constant boon, she rises high in the night sky, a beacon of hope, a sickle of love, her beauty radiating from, from on high, a sight that fills my heart with love, as the moon. She guards me through the darkest days and the longest nights. Her light source, a source of strength, truth, a comfort that fills me with delight. So let us gaze upon her radiance as she orbits through the sky, symbol of love, forever close, my girlfriend, the moon, a love that never dies. But also, I cannot <laughs> fathom the idea of just- I found a chatbot who can write anything, so I'm gonna have him write a FNAF vs. Predator vs. Batman series. That is something fucking different. <laughs> so I apologize if my, uh, voice was shaky throughout that reading because I am severely fucking cold! <laughs> So what was the story then? Krieger, stop it. This good boy. Also, Krieger is a German Shepherd. His name is Guardian, I believe, in German. And we have taught him German. 
German commands. I'm sorry, I shook really hard. That's why I said German. <clears throat> oh my god, they're gone. <laughs> but yes, I'm curious. If you want to get the Sparks Note versions, I will be more than happy to read it out. Shaisa! Dude, it only around clean is only 62 degrees in my fucking room. Cause I'm in a goddamn garage. Cause it's the only noise canceling room we have. Okay, I gotta manage the cameras better. And that's what I really have to do. Fuyu only has one viewer. That's weird. Batman goes to Freddy's Pizza to investigate the murders when the Predator appears to duel with Batman. When Batman gets on the ropes. What ropes? Freddy and the gang assault the Predator together. Batman and Freddy defeat the Predator and soon discover that more Predators lurk in the city. <laughs> Ex fucking excuse me? <laughs> Batman goes to Freddy's to where the fucking predator is stalking people. Oh my god. I can't pretty sure he's right outside. So Batman and Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie go to fight all the predators, except for Foxy, because fuck Foxy, right? <laughs> no way Foxy was just like actively excluded. You need a Discord. I do have a Discord. I can make a channel real quick for you. Uh, but I do have a Discord. It should be listed in uh, my like. Oh, I'm sorry. My 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 Twitch thing. Yeah, no, it's definitely listed in my Twitch thing. Like, just scroll down a little bit, and there will be a Discord. I will, I will, I will make a, a, I will make a chat after I die or after I win for you. But there is a discord already. I, I do need to make a, found it, I'm in. Good, 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 good. good. I, I didn't even make an announcements channel because I'm worried to use the at here thing because I, I want to tell people when I'm going live on my discord but I need to <laughs> don't worry I'll make one after I win or die fingers crossed to winning No way. No way I just tried to take a sip of my fucking White Claw and I missed my mouth. <laughs> no way. Hear me out. I'm hearing you out. Pokemon X Nightmare on Elm Street. 
I that's the Freddy Krueger one, right? Cause I have not really consumed much of Freddy Krueger stuff. Yeah. Pokemon and Freddy Krueger. I have not watched any of the movies and such, so I don't really know. But that would be an interesting idea. Or even just people treating those Pokemon as actual dog fighting like it should be. <laughs> I, I, I see this as a Pokemon lover. Uh, if people in the universe actually treat it as like dog fighting, uh, that would be interesting. I think I kind of have to try to survive. But yeah. <laughs> uh, one of my Pokemon, uh, the, the Claude Sire, is just named Pogamus. And, um,. I really like dragon types, and I got Pokemon Violet, uh, while my friend got Scarlet, and, um, my team originally consisted a lot of Charizard <laughs> with Dream Eater! Hey, yo, ain't that like a Soul Eater, like, fucking move or something? <laughs> Fuck off, Foxy, I don't care. Ain't no way fucking fucking Charizard Dream Eater. What kind of move is that? Is that one is that Freddy Krueger's move? <laughs> Actually no, that would that would that would explain it a little bit. Nah, meanwhile I'm just out here like huh? Oh Freddy also killed Ash. I don't know who Ash is. <laughs> I wish I knew who Ash was, but I do not know who Ash is. <laughs> Ash from the po- Oh! Ash from Pokemon Anime! He's dead? Well, I mean, he's gone, like, soon, at least. If not already, but, like, damn! Freddy killed Ash? Bruh! Bruh, he's about to get shit rocked by all of his, like, Pokemon that came from, like, all the other generations. <laughs> Let me get a water real quick. Because I'd get another White Club, but, you know. That's how the story went. Wait, that's where the fucking story ended? You're joking, right? Oh yeah, no, Freddy just kills fucking Ash from this goddamn series that's like over 20 years old. Uh, he just kills him, bro. <laughs> what? My aunt has a daughter, and I just watched my uncle, I'm pretty sure, just, like, starting to move the fucking elves on the shelf. Also, who remembers Elf from the Shelf on the ki as a kid? Elf, Elf on the Child as a kid? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I really need this water. Because that was something in my childhood, at least. I need to finish this entire water bottle before I go to bed. But y'all know, like, 
<laughs> Freddy Freddy Fazbear kills Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. Bro, it sounds it sounds like a clickbait YouTube ch like title from like fucking Roblox. <laughs> I just got killed by Freddy and his Pokemon just jumped Freddy. <laughs> oh my god. I need to hear what happens next. Apologies, I was drinking water. On a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, I'm definitely not a 10. I'm probably like a 7. Like 5 being like average. And 6 being over, over average. I'm probably like a 7. Or like a 6. Because I, 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 I know what it's like to be me as a drunk person. And I'm definitely not like really drunk. But I'm definitely, like, above tipsy, you know what I mean? And I'm also shaking a lot because it's really fucking cold. So that's not helping my case. Okay, me closing the door and opening when I didn't need to was also not on my case. <laughs> Welcome to You're Not Coping With Your Parents Not Being Near You For Their First Christmas Well. <laughs> After a Pokemon kill Freddy, Freddy is fucking dead. They hold a funeral for going on a holy crusade of all animatronics. That's beautiful right there. That's beautiful. Oh, you little bitch! Okay, no, that was my fault, though. I just said the, <laughs> the Pokemon kill all the animatronics, or at least going on a crusade of them. <laughs> 1600s Christian moment. <laughs> Apologies. I had to cough my fucking lungs out because the water went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Actually, real quick, I'm gonna see if there's any garlic bread in the freezer because I might make myself some because I'm really depressed. <laughs> like, I, I, when I say I'm depressed, I just mean I'm like severely sad more than usual. But I will be. more than before because there's no garlic bread. I was going to make myself some garlic bread because I'm a problem. I make homemade garlic bread. Well, 
My next prop is Goku versus SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh my god. Honestly, like, I, I imagine it's fucking amazing when it's, like, super, super delicious when it's homemade. Um, <clears throat> problem is I don't have a recipe and I don't even know if I have the ingredients to make a homemade garlic bread. <sighs> I'm sorry, give me a moment. I need to, I need to warm the fuck back up before I start playing again. Um, cause I'm basically, like, my setup is in a garage with my aunt, uh, mostly because the garage is actually sound cancelling in comparison to my, my actual bedroom. <laughs> if, um, if, if people didn't hear me screaming in the middle of the night in my bedroom, I would be in my bedroom, but, uh, that's not the case. So I basically banished myself to the garage of my own volition. And, uh, according to the heater that's blowing at maximum power, it is 62 degrees. <laughs> and this is someone who has gained weight since being 90 pounds, so. <laughs> that was a squash fight. I don't know what squash fight bes means besides, like, one, one side just absolutely destroyed the other. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Yeah, that sounds about right. Goku eradicated Spongebob with one punch. Yeah, it sounds about like Goku. Turned into a pile of sponge blood. Yeah, eradicating him down to his mountain so that he could be a cleaning product. <laughs> sounds about right. <clears throat> <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking cold. I've been drinking refrigerator white claws and water. It's it's more than slightly cold. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh that that makes sense. I'm trying to think. Have you ever watched The Amazing World of Gumball ever? Ethan? Sorry. I, I. Your name is very close to someone who I used to know. Who I used to know. Amazing World of Gumball? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm curious. When Gumball. Dude! Amazing World of Gumball was my childhood too. Only problem was my my family canceled cable before it finished. <laughs> so I used to know. Oh, oh. Um. <clears throat> but you didn't have to cut me off. Like I never happened, and that we were nothing. I need your love. Treat me like a stranger and that feels so rough. You didn't have to stoop so low. Happen and then change your number. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Did you, because I never ended up watching uh, Adventure Time. Because I don't know why, but apparently the line, oh, you motherfucker, Foxy. I'm sorry. Um, but the line apparently was drawn at Adventure Time, but Amazing World of Gumball was not included. Uh, cause I, I, I was raised by not like fundamentals Christians. Um, my parents are both like Christians, but they're not like bigots, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're like normal human beings that are also Christian, you know what I mean? Um, so I never watched Adventure Time, but Amazing World of Gumball was my fucking jam. I watch every big four Cartoon Network shows. So, okay, I, I, I know I didn't watch all of them, because I assume Adventure Time was one of them. But I did watch regular show with me and my brother, and I did watch Gumball. Um, 
I I I didn't watch Teen Titans. I watched Teen Titans Go. At my age, because um, I wasn't watching like anything as mature as Teen Titans at that age. Because I'm pretty sure Teen Titans came out when I was like ten. <laughs> The regular show is way worse than from a Christian, right? <laughs> but I love both. Yeah, no, like, 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 like. Here's the thing. Like, you know, as a as a very gay human being, I honestly don't really have any qualms with Christianity itself. Coming like after the realization that it was literally just assholes and false prophets that were trying to push the fact that the gays are bad because the gays aren't bad according to judaism or christianity it's just assholes that changed the bible um but yeah no like i don't know how the fuck adventure time according to them my parents was worse than regular show because regular show was like me and my brothers bread and butt her I cannot stress it enough. Like, they're, like, all, I, I admit, like, all, all the great four, they were all amazing shows. I just want to know how the fuck my parents thought the regular show was better than Adventure Time in a Christian view. <laughs> I, I'm just asking. <laughs> like, sure, at the very end, there's two lesbians and the fucking adventure time but like nobody predicted that or i mean people predicted it but like it only happened in the last few episodes who who fucking cares regular show was so much more like everything you know what i mean but regular show is such a good show i need to finish gumball because i never finished it i need to i need to get it on a site and just watch the rest of it because i love that shit I hated Princess Gumball. She was an asshole. I would love to know if she was an asshole or not, but I literally never watched Adventure Time. I have never watched a second of it in my life besides clips. And that's the people pleaser in me because of my parents. <laughs> but no, I love regular show. I love regular show and Gumball. They were so good. Foxy, can you fuck off for five minutes? Okay, clearly I'm not doing this enough. I'm trying to, like, be calm, and that's not working. <laughs> yeah, no, but from the sound, like, I have heard that Princess Gondol is kind of a fucking bitch. To sum it up, she kept rejecting the main character, but wouldn't allow the main character to be happy with anyone's. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't a situation of just like. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry, Kelly and text. I'm sorry, I can't really read your name because it uh, the the alert happened really quickly. Um, but thank you for the follow. Um, but to sum it up, so she kept rejecting the main character, but little. Yeah, no, like, like, look, they're they. Like, you are absolutely, like, fucking, if you don't want to be with someone, absolutely, like, say no. But, like, you can't, she's also mega racist! Yeah, that wouldn't help her case either, huh? Um, but yeah, no, like, but, like, if you're, like, oh, like, trying to make someone, like, jealous, and, like, he did, every non-candy person, hello, do you want So, hello, do you want free FNAF as a Christmas gift? No, I'm good, don't worry. I I, I, I can more than afford the, the rest of the FNAFs. I'm going to at least get to the six ninth on this game, um, on FNAF 1. Um, I, I, I can more than afford the rest of the game, don't worry. Um, <laughs> just gone all mega racist. <laughs> or princess. Um, to sum it up, she kept rejecting. But yeah, no, like, 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 if, if you're not happy with being with someone, absolutely say no to them. But don't, like, oh yeah, you can't, you can have fun with anyone else. Could he send you a video, Funny Freddy? Hello, do you want a... Apologies. I am... I'm sorry. I'm slightly. 
I, I'm slightly inebriated at the moment. I'm like trying to like comprehend the sentence because I know it's not like a hard sentence to comprehend. I'm just fucking stupid. <laughs> um. I'll watch that in a bit, but I'm I'm like slightly dizzy <laughs> with this fucking night because I cannot win. I cannot win. Tried to purge the fire people but because they were aggressive. They weren't. They weren't. Their queen was trying to get with Finn. Oh, so she. <laughs> so basically. To try to kill an entire people because uh, their queen was trying to fuck someone. <laughs> that's that, that that's that's what I'm getting. She came to mass genocide on the race of guards because they had feelings. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't exactly good either, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I've never watched it. In, in the, 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 I've never watched Adventure Time, so I don't really know much about the characters. I just know that Prince Bubblegum and or Princess Bubblegum and the fucking vampire lady were shipped to hell. Any candy person who disagreed with what she said would die a slow death. Jesus. Well, I mean, people will like you as long as you're gay. And she was depicted as a hero. Mmm, Pog. Yeah, no, that would do it. <laughs> but like, I wanna, I wanna know why. Like, I never saw anything. Like, hey guys, maybe Princess Bubblegum kind of sucks. And no, it's just, it's just. But she's gay. Are you kidding me? So this is technically a pedophile. Oh, fun! Yeah, I know. She like, like, like one of those like anime characters who's like, oh, you're a child, but you're also like hundreds and thousands of years old. Is that what she is? I fucking hate those. She wanted to hook up with groomed a fifteen year old boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly sympathetic. No. So how old is she then? Like, is she like in her 20s or something? Is that what's happening? And she's 36?! <laughs> Fuck off, Foxy! I don't give a shit about what you're seeing! She is the 30 fucking 6 years old?! She is 36 years old?! And she's getting with a main character that's 50! Are you fucking kidding me?! I mean, hey. I mean, it contributes to the stigma that men can't be assaulted, am I right? <laughs> that That's fucking horrendous. Her age got reversely under 25. That doesn't make it better. That doesn't make it better. That does not make it better, you dumb... Oh. Oh. Like, okay, look, 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 as, as someone who is groomed previously, right, I do not fucking care. Like, unless there was literally no way you could have known the rage, I do not care. You are fucking 36 and going after a 15 year old? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't care that you turned out to be 25 in the end of the game. Who? At least with 17. Yeah, no, look, 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 look. Here's the thing. As, again, as someone who was groomed previously, I can understand two year age gaps, right? 15, 17, 16, 18. Because it's like, here's the thing the age isn't that far. Like, sure, the maturity is like kind of far. 
right? But I, I really don't think that every 18-year-old that happens to be dating a 16-year-old is always the villain. Like, there are definitely cases. But I don't think it's always the If you're 25 going after a 15-year-old, go to jail. Off yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. Like, oh. Like, at least the Firely was fucking 17. Yeah. At least they're both minors. <laughs> I wish you would have died. Me fucking too. Me fucking too. Like. Oh my god. And the worst part is that people now ship the 36 and 25 year old with the 17 year old. Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? Like, look. Look. I don't care about the game. Kill the pedophile. Exact fucking Lee. Exactly. I'm gonna be real. I literally never knew Bubblegum's age. Until now. Because I've never watched it. I never really cared to watch it. The fact that all these fucking people are shipping a adult, grown-ass adult. This isn't even like, oh, they're 21 and one's 18. This, is, this person has a fully formed brain. And they're trying to fuck a child. Fuck that. <laughs> trying to date a 300 plus year old. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, hey, they're going for the extremes. <laughs> oh my God. Like, 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 okay. Different animals, because humans are animals, age differently, right? Right? That's a fact. That's a fact. However, if you have not established that a certain race of people ages differently, and they're a 36-year-old dating a 15-year-old, they are a pedophile. <laughs> this isn't this isn't like in the Hida situation in Genshin Impact. Where in Genshin Impact there's a, a 500 year old god, goddess. She is a child in terms of goddesses. This is not a human. This is a goddess. She's treated as a child. She looks like a child. She's only 500 years old. The oldest god is 5,000 years old. You know? A was trying to f fire and gum. Yeah, no, like, like, I don't, like, there's no way of winning. <laughs> there's no way of winning. Like, there isn't. Like, like, um, like, at least in, like, fucking, oh, my God. Fuck you, Foxy. Um, at least, in, like, nobody's trying to fuck Nahida and Genshin, which is literally just a toddler in God age. Especially because Nikita specifically, was completely sealed away in a coma for most of her lifetime, including like 450 at least plus years. Like this bitch has not lived at all. And and people are like, you know, like like this isn't the Nahita situation. This is a fucking I'm just a pedophile situation. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Why is pedophile now being not allowed in my chat? Like, I'm never gonna not allow people to call out pedos. Fun fact, any if, are pedophiles because of the animatronics to children? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Like, like I... I when I was young, when I was like fucking 12, you know, I saw, oh, hi, Foxy. <laughs> you know, I saw FNAF 34. I was like, damn. You know, I'm definitely not a furry. Uh, didn't really care much. I was like, I don't understand why these people like it so much. Um, but yeah, no, like if you make... FNAF 34, especially knowing the lore, you're a bad person. <laughs> if you're like a 13 year old 
like not knowing any of the lore thinking like oh i'm a furry i like this character's design that's different but like if you're like a full grown ass adult like like going oh yes foxy freddy they're so hot no you're a bad person like uh i know they overwatch is originally for that they had to change their age i believe it i i honestly believe it like like you know as someone who is only 19 now and played a lot of overwatch and was originally much or was feminine enough for people to notice. There's a reason why I didn't use comms in the competitive. There's a fucking reason. Like. Like here's the thing. Men have it fucking difficult. You know what I mean? It's just. Genders. Different sexes. Genders. We all have our fucking shit that we have to deal with. And sadly, on both sides, it happens that it's usually from the other. You know what I mean? Like, I never face, like, people harassing me, trying to try to get nudes from, like, a 13-year-old me from females. I only got that from males. And... I, I'm someone who already sounds young now. When I was 13, I sounded like a fucking, like, five-year-old. Are you kidding me? Um, like, I don't know, man. I, I just don't have sympathy for people who harass people over the internet. And it, it, it's not my fault that a lot of it's kind of guys. Because I have ass of a woman. <laughs> Yeah, you got a thick ass? Bro, that's cool as fuck, though. Like, 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 ah, you see that's cool as fuck? But I imagine it's not for, like, uh, actual existing as a live human being purposes. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me in. There we go. Yeah. You know, like, having a thick ass, bro. How many fucking cute ass bitches you'll get from having a thick ass? <laughs> but yeah, no, like. People suck, dude. Welcome, Cora. You were talking about uh, how much people suck. <laughs> because of Adventure Time and FNAF. Uh, making several hot takes that were all correct. <laughs> So how are you gonna give me Christmas <laughs> I mean, I could. I mean, it won't be much, but I could. Dude, I'm already, I'm already giving my friend of several years like a hundred dollars to try to pull Scar Moosh. like, and I'm also trying to save like another computer. So I'm fucking broke, bitch. <laughs> I mean, ayo, like, 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 I'll give you, like, a $20. Like, I'll Venmo you, like, a $20 so you can, like, pull Gryden or something. I'll take that. <laughs> nah. You know, I would. I would. They don't need Scar. Oh, no. They will fucking kill themselves if they don't get Scar. You don't understand. I mean, I guess that's <laughs> good. Yeah, no, no, I, I, yeah, I just proposed, proposed to Korra. Have, <laughs> bro, why can't I win this fucking night? Dude, I'm so garbage. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you, you could, like, sell it and maybe you'll make some money. I don't know. I, <laughs> bro, it's so, f who breaks up with someone on Christmas Eve? <laughs> Who does that? Damn, so soon already? 
a bitch, I'm almost a lesbian. I almost said I love you to someone who I knew for three weeks. Acting like we don't all have problems. Bitch, we're in a VTuber whore chat. Like... Like, we're in a sheep ladies fucking... Fucking... Sheep lady with a chest windows chat. Like, I don't... I don't, I don't think we have any uh, morals here. Except for pedophiles suck. That's the moral we have. And honestly, that's an amazing moral. <laughs> uh, not even amazing moral. That's a basic human decency moral. I mean, all I said... I mean, unironically, though... Unironically, though... Like, if somebody fucking... Like... Like, I cannot stress this enough. If somebody made me my favorite meal on Christmas or my birthday, I'd fucking marry them. I, I'd pull a ring out of my ass. Like, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. Like, <laughs> like, look, I, I'm someone whose love language is, uh physical affection but it's also absolutely like um what what's the word <laughs> what's the word uh like like acts like uh acts of kindness i guess i don't know like do, if you cook for me i marry you that's how it works food yeah no no food like <laughs> i I literally had the most horrendous relationship with food. And now I'm just like, I yeah, know if you give me garlic bread and pasta, I will marry you on the spot. Um, <laughs> unironically, like if someone looked at me and said, hey, yo, so uh, every every day that you're sad, um, or not every day that you're sad, uh, apparently Ethan, because he, he so, okay, Cora, let, let, me, let, me, let me explain this to you. So, so Ethan right here, straight white Christian man, but he bakes on the regular, he cooks on the regular, he, he, he fucking goes to like a, a homeless soup kitchen, fucking goes there and just cooks shit like on the weekend for fun. Like I, like we're marrying him all collectively, right? <laughs> Like, we're all marrying him, right? Right? <laughs> like, 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 uh, like, look, I, <laughs> I can cork on the list. Garlic bread with real home bread. Bread. Dude. Dude. <laughs> you, you can give him the glitz if you want, brother. Oh my god. No. But, like, like, I cannot explain enough. I am so down bad for people who will, like, cook shit for me. Like, except for my friend Sophia. Them specifically, I, I don't think I'll ever have a relationship with, but that's, like, because we're both collectively, like, yeah, no, uh, we like other people. And we're like, yeah, good. <laughs> like, like, they cook so much shit, and I'm like, I want someone to cook me shit, and someone, like, 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 we'll ask for the recipe and I'm, like, this close to marrying them on the spot. Like, food is so good. I cook bait art. I know how to cook. Coral, look. Dude, am I about to have, like, a polyamorous marriage? Because I fucking will do it. I will fucking do it. I enjoy long walks through nature. Yeah, no. Like, Ayo, are you willing to try to learn how to ride a horse? Like, I'll... I got the... I provide the horse. Like... <laughs> you want to do a trail ride? Like... <laughs> 
Like, you know, me, me and my ex, like, occasionally joke, like, oh, yeah, no, if I, me, uh, gain some weight, then, like, you know, suddenly fishing as a career would be off the table, and I'm just like, yeah, if you, uh, if you ever cooked for me, suddenly I would be okay with living for my family. Dude, I, I wish you could restart, you know what, I'm just gonna... common people you know the ocean's nice i mean i just live on like the west coast so it's like cold as fuck constantly near the goddamn ocean but the ocean's nice i remember um one time i went bucky boarding with uh some friends and it was really fun and i actually caught a wave and i was super fucking stoked <laughs> Um, well, yeah, no. Like, 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 I'm someone who actually does enjoy nature. It's just, uh, you know. Ooh! Phone guy is here. Scott Cawson himself. Oh, yeah. You know, cooking is just a huge thing for me. I love people who cook. It's me, fucking your mom? <gasps> Shut up, Freddy. I don't want anything to do with you, Freddy, specifically, but I'll fuck your mom. Your mom's probably hot. Your <laughs> parents' is food and verbal kindness. Dead ass, though. Dead ass, though. Like, if someone tells me, like, like if someone's like, you've done a good job, I will never leave their side. And, and that's why I had a severe mental breakdown when one of my old friends stopped just ghosting me one day. Um, I was not doing good. <laughs> they would tell me I was doing a good job and they were proud of me and then suddenly they were gone and I was like, well, I'm gonna do it this time, I swear. And then I didn't do it that time, and I tried to talk to them, and they weren't, uh, there. <sighs> but yeah, no, like, fucking food? Food? Shut the fuck up, Bonnie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the ass of your father, and I'm gonna fuck your mom after. And you know what? They're gonna enjoy it so much that they're not even gonna leave each other. They're just gonna, they're just gonna become a polycule. Eat my shit. But yeah, no, like, food. Food is, like, an entirely different love language, I feel. How the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Cora. We're not gonna... We're not gonna... I can hear Freddy. I wanted to check that, but it's fine! Soon I'm gonna pull out my favorite uh, insult towards Freddy and Bonnie and Look, it's not my fault Freddy's trying to kill me, okay? If Freddy wasn't trying to kill me, we wouldn't be having problems. But he's we're having problems because he's trying to kill me. That's how it works. Hi Babu Turtle. I need to talk to him. I didn't say anything to him. Was I talking to you, Cora? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm four white claws in. I don't think I was talking to you, but I might have said something that made you think that, and I'm sorry. He's definitely there, right? No, he's not. Ugh! I'm being bullied. Not like me in middle school. <laughs> Nah, but like two drunk fucks and one sober white person. You're acting like I'm not white as well. No, no, no. no let, let's get one thing straight. 
I'm I'm a white as fuck bitch. Like I I rival paper. I rival paper. The only <laughs> the only problem is that that queers decide that uh to talk like uh you know black people and that's the problem. People ironically think that I'm not white. I'm just like I feel horrible because I'm worried that like I'm talking and like taking away from like black people's like speech. I'm like oh no, I didn't want to be that kind of gay. <laughs> I didn't want to be the, the, the bad kind of gay. I just wanted to be a gay. Let me be queer, FNAF. Are you though? I'm trying. I feel you be more mixed. Bro, I am okay. The most mixed I am is that my fucking mom is from South Africa. And she's white. She's the white kind of South African. Bro, I am not. I am not fucking colored in any way. My dad's side is fucking German. Or Czechoslovakian or Czech Republic. Slovakian? I don't know. I don't know. It's a fucking mess over there, dude. My my line, my lineage is a fucking mess. Are you though? No, I'm not! <laughs> I am completely white. I'm not like my friend who looks super white but is actually half Mexican. I I'm I'm entirely white. Probably? My dad is Irish and my mom is French, so I'm gonna do No dude, I'm I'm white as boy Dude, you're you're like from the one like you're like ha like half the one white type of race that people were actually racist against. <laughs> I'm Hispanic. <laughs> fucking Ethan found the one white race that people were racist against and 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 just was that <laughs> no my my family um if I recall correctly my mother is Dutch technically or my no my mother is actually British her her mom is Dutch I don't remember what my grandfather on that side is um, my family on my dad's side is pretty much entirely German, Czechoslovakian. Um, my dad is a first generation American, and my mom was not born in America. On her side, I'm the first generation. I'm second gen. I don't know what that says besides white. <laughs> Stop making me feel like I'm the gay that appropriates non-white culture. Stop it! Stop it! Also, I'm sorry. I finally um uh said that 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 one check can be said. I'm a basic white boy in French. <laughs> no. No, I'm a, I'm a basic white they them where like I, I idolize black women because I think they're really cute and I also think that they that they're really funny so I speak like them because my one of my also like love languages is literally just mimicry. <laughs> I I am unironically just a uh, a a mosaic of all the people I've loved over my entire life so you know what I mean. <laughs> So no more drinks for you then? Well, I could get another one if I wanted you, bitch. I could get another if I wanted. A part of you wants to play Shelter too, though. It's in the FNAF, because this is clearly not fucking working. <laughs> I will get a water. I will drink my water. And after that, I'll play Shelter too. I think. Wait, do we have... Wait, 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 we have to do drunk people math? Oh, fucking no. What is drunk people math? I don't want, I don't want to know, but I'm curious. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I suck at really
I'm putting the water on my table. I'm so sorry. I really have to pee. Well, I can't stop you, so it's TCG's time. No, okay, if I don't drink, I don't have to play TCG against you. How about that? If I don't drink more, I I, I, I don't have to play Genshin TCG and lose horrendously against you. <laughs> is, is that a deal? I won't, I will never drink the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> Drunk TCG. I mean, hey, if we're both drinking, I'm down. <laughs> Every time you lose a character, oh no. Okay, okay. Uh, let me let me go to the bathroom real quick, and we'll we'll talk more about that. You take a shot. I don't have anything to take shots with. I only I literally only have white claws. So okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I will read your chat, Ethan, in a moment. I Colder by the fucking second. Now it's only 60 degrees in the goddamn garage. Ah! So, so it's usually double the amount. So say four times two. Add the drinks. They forget. So let's go two, two, four times two plus two. Add drinks from off stream to get 18 white claws. I only started drinking ones I got on stream. I swear. Okay, but I am actually gonna finish this water real quick. Because, um, my, my, I'm actually really good at, like, I can get drunk, but then I'll digest that fucking alcohol really quick, like. Or I mean to say, I'll piss it out of my system real fucking fast. <laughs> Cause I got, I piss like a goddamn racehorse. I mean alcohol you're drinking I've drank four white claws um ever since I started uh streaming FNAF and playing it I have not drank more I have not drank less I did not drink I did not start drinking before I I no 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 I'm drinking water I will I will send a fucking picture in my discord I will send a picture in my discord I'm ironically drinking water, I swear. I've been drinking... Oh, shit. One second. One of my friends has been texting me. Hold on. Streaming. Sorry. Shit. I didn't... I'm sorry. I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll give you fucking proof. I'll give you some fucking proof. You little bitch. Little fucking... Little fucking... 
fucking uh uh <laughs> give me a moment <laughs> Give me, give me a moment. Uh, I really need to make more, tr make more chats. I, I'm <laughs> proof of not alcohol. I'm gonna make a chat called proof of not alcohol, and I'm probably gonna make a, a chat called just uh, streaming announcements right after. So don't, don't, don't mind the second chat. Just, just, just. Yeah, yeah. Words don't hurt me. Of course. Get uh, words don't hurt gays anymore. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> Not alcohol. <laughs> Free bird, yeah. <laughs> I spelled that all correctly and I'm super fucking proud of myself. Okay, proof of non alcohol. Proof of non alcohol. It is a thing in my goddamn, in my goddamn, where the fuck is the take the picture? There we go. There we go. Proof. No. I will not be gaslit. <clears throat> Proof of not alcohol. <laughs> Happy Southern Christmas. Is, is this proof enough? Is this proof? The alcohol is off photo. I will fuck. Oh my God, you little bitches. Nice. I'm going to fucking kill all of you. I'm going to kill. I'm <laughs> Don't. Okay, little bitches. I'm taking a video as we speak. As we speak. Okay, look. 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 There is nothing. There is nothing. There's nothing but Lindor chocolates. Look. There's a trash. There is nothing in the fucking alcohol. <laughs> Sonic. Dude, that. Okay, look. Yeah, no, Dasani is, like, ass water quality, but, like, um, that's what my aunt bought me, so I'm gonna, I, I just kind of take it. I just, I just kind of, yeah, no, Dasani is kind of ass, though. <laughs> my ass is too big to tie the young. <laughs> I thought you was better. No, I swear, I usually, I usually drink Arrowhead. I usually drink Arrowhead. It's not my fault my aunt doesn't know that my, my water bottle drinking needs. It's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not, it's not my fault that my aunt doesn't know my water I'm gonna fucking kill you, Cora. <laughs> I'm gonna show up at your house and go, Hey, gringo! I'm gonna fucking shoot you. <laughs> oh my god. Mr. Mr. Fucking No Fun Cora out here. Mmm, <laughs> this water tastes like. How how does water taste bad? I don't know. Ask Sonny. If I were to drink my Kim Kardashian as my. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to drink my Kim Kardashian ass, would absorb the alcohol and I would never get drunk. Ethan, 2022. Really impressive video edit. Don't say impressive video edit. That makes it worse. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my god. It's not an edit! I'm actually starting to feel like the drunk could go away from my body though because I've been drinking water. Two big ass waters down. Because look, the zombie tastes like shit, but like it it water. <laughs> it water. <laughs> What's the fun idea? Now I'm scared. <laughs> Ethan, what the fuck is the fun idea? What do you mean? We all still got drunk game time. I mean, that doesn't mean I won't drink more, but... Get some shot alcoholic vodka every jump scare and take a shot. I mean, that is a very fun idea. The problem is I don't have any, like, shot alcohol. Otherwise, I would do that. But yeah, no, that actually would be a really fun idea. I would also love to do that shit. Uh, on Mortuary Season. And yes, I would love to hear a fun story. Drink the whole bottle when you get jump scared. <laughs> Dude, I, I'd, I'd be dead of alcohol poisoning at this point. I got hit by a car three days ago? I don't know if that's a funny story, my friend. I don't, I don't know if that classifies as a funny story. Y'all are why I drink. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck Freddy is, but if he wants to make me face God, I will. It's because my massive hinker honker dump truck ass prevented a lot of <laughs> major injuries. <laughs> Does not my ass is so thick I just don't get injured when a fucking car runs into my ass. I'm talking I'm taking I'm talking alcohol away from you, Willie. Look, I don't know if I'm the one who should have the alcohol taken away from me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm the one. You know what I mean? <laughs> My ribs are bruised. Oh yeah, no, like 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 ribs are bruised. That's normal, brother. That's normal. Don't worry about it, brother. <laughs> so I can drink it myself. <laughs> Acting like I want to take your alcohol away from you. <laughs> I was told by a doctor that if my ass wasn't so big, my spine would have been broken. <laughs> Look, one of these days I will get Ethan's ass. Like, like not in like I'm going after him romantically or sexually way, but I will one day have an ass like him, will I? Like, <laughs> yeah, no. If my ass wasn't so big, I would have broken my fucking spine, bro. <laughs> Bro, your life, your your ass is life support. Unironically. Can you fuck off, Foxy? You took 20%? That's what we call the not fun type of gay. You're literally sucking the life out of me because your dick sucking abilities are so good. Shut up, Foxy. God. I am won the best, best ass award at school. Well, I'm dead. won the best
was not so worn at school. Look, anyone can get that in high school, okay? <laughs> anyone can get that in high school, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, anyone who, like, go through any kind of growth spurt in, like, high school or middle school just, like, stays at that stage, like, for the rest of their fucking life. So I don't know if that's the flex you think it is, <laughs> Cora. <laughs> okay, I finished my water, though, so we're gonna play some shelter, too. Because clearly being kind of drunk and uh, doing FNAF isn't working. Shelter 2. I said, dude, why the fuck is most girls I know us is unironically, you know, someone fucking told me why my ass isn't as big as my fucking ex's like not even like my first like my second one like both of them why is my ass so fucking tiny like i've gained so much like like a good amount of weight like as in like positive amounts of weight like why the fuck do i not have an ass yet like i have stretch marks on my boobs but like i have no ass like what the fuck is this where the fuck is shelter two there it is But yeah, no, like, I understand why, like, like, better start doing squats. Bro, I already ride horses, like, you think I wouldn't need to? Like, you'd, you'd fucking think I wouldn't need to. What? I can't continue? Oh, okay, that's why, that's why, that's why it's okay. <laughs> I have to get custom jeans because my ass is so big that no male jean makes the right fit for me. Bro. I'm gonna go with Bunny this time. Because this is my dead cat. This is my fucking asshole dog. This is another dead cat, so I'm gonna go with my living horse. <laughs> Nope, I'm, I'm going with the dead cat. I'm going with the dead cat. She makes me, she, I love that cat so much. Well, yes, I would love to skip directly to birth. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, no, um, I fucking wish I had your ass. Can we, like, trade, dude? Because <laughs> it's not like I don't have an ass, but it, it's like, it's like it's not, I literally have to get custom jeans for it, you know what I mean? And also, my ass is bony as shit. Like, I have a nice ass, but, like, like, like whenever I sit down, I can feel the fucking hip bones in my, 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 my hips just fucking protruding. I'll be your personal trainer if we can share my ass. Ayo, I'll do it, brother. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll fucking, I'll do it, bro. I'll do it. I'll be your personal trainer. No, no, not me. Like, about to start riding my horses a shit ton more because, like, fucking my ass won't grow. But it's also, like, going under freezing, so it's not really very ethical to ride horses right now, I don't think. And also just because freezing, poor ground. I don't really want to slip and have my horse fall on top of me. That's already happened nearly once. I don't want it to happen again. Fun fact, uh, I used to do Jim Canna, which is basically barrel racing, which is basically just make horse go round circle really quick or go round obstacle really quick. Like that, that that's Jim Canna. That's barrel racing. I did that for a very long time with my horse called Bunny. She's great. I love her severely. And uh, one day there was a show that had absolute shit um, ground. And it was super, super, like, uh, oh my god, I can't remember the word. Like, it's not nearly deep enough. 
if I don't sleep now, I'm not going to sleep for the rest of the night. Yeah, I feel that. I hope you have a good night. Good night's sleep, Ethan. Yeah, no. Hope you, hope you have a good night's sleep. And, uh, hope you have a good Christmas and all that good shit. I might stream tomorrow, I'm not sure, but, um, I hope I see you again. Oh, yeah, no, like, uh, basically, footing bad. Uh, horse slipped, fell on her ass. And I was lucky enough to rocket launch my ass out of the, 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 the saddle. Otherwise, I probably would have had a severely broken leg. <clears throat> but now I have to s name a few kittens. I probably won't finish raising this litter tonight, but it's alright. Um, I'm just going to name these after my favorite characters. You're going to be Ken. You're going to be Junka. My favorite characters, I mean my OCs, because I have a problem. <laughs> uh, brown haired OC, I don't. Daichi. And then I move on to Yuri. And maybe I'll use Yuri. Yay! I'm probably not gonna drink any more for the night, obviously. But I'm really thirsty, so I'm probably gonna get more water. <laughs> Maybe I'll make my heat myself some some food, but yeah. Um. Also, this will most certainly be a vod on my YouTube channel. Several halt takes were made, and uh, but all of them were right, so I don't care. <laughs> Jumping sounds does not fucking do a different animation. I love this game so much. Ooh, that's a hell- that is hella bunnies. That is hella bunnies. Yeah. Hella bunnies, hella food. You know, I always go, oh, I shouldn't waste my my resources, but, like, this is going to take forever if I don't fucking just sprint. I know I had a third, so we're gonna be like. I know once I managed to. to. get my cubs out of the den before winter ended. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> you know... Back in the old days of Shelter and Shelter 2, I, I really miss those days. Maybe it's because it wasn't uh, nearly as depressed. <laughs> but, you know... I do dream of one day, uh... Being able to play a game called Meadow. It's it, it, it's quite literally just sh the shelter games, but massively multiplayer. It, it's 
that's nice. I, I one day want to play it uh, on stream. And have people join me. I really miss the game. Yep, see? And these are only collectibles, so I need to collect a bunch of shit. Those are my In the Mountains DLCs, uh, collectibles. And honestly, we've hit the four hour mark. I think I'm actually gonna end stream here. Um, this is a pretty long one. Uh, what was I gonna say? I might stream tomorrow, I'm not sure though. It, it depends on what, uh, my family ends up doing. We'll definitely be playing this again. This is that's not a question. It's just more of a matter of one. Um, but yeah. Um, but I I need to get some rest and drink a lot of water so I don't get a hangover. Even though I'm not drunk anymore, um, I d I just need to take care of myself. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, I hope everybody has a good Christmas. Including you, Cora, bitch. Also, I'm sorry I haven't been drawing lately. Uh, your your sketches for your YouTuber. I've just been totally out of it. <laughs> when it comes to drawing, I'm just not at all motivated or anything. So, I'm gonna do that eventually. I swear. Well, that's toxic, bro. Me, <laughs> me telling I hate you, bitch. Anyways, I could attack you if I wanted, yo. To <laughs> if I wanted you. Nah, you shouldn't have corrected that. <laughs> you shouldn't have corrected that. That would be better. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like I I'll I'll get into it. Love you, man. Like <laughs> I'll, I'll the the dr the sketches will be sent eventually. It's just mm, drawing brain says no. <laughs> you know what I mean. So it is what it is. Um, but yes, I will do that eventually. And going to end stream now because uh, I need sleep. And I also need to not have a hangover for tomorrow because I think we're going to be doing something this Christmas. <laughs> but yes. I hope you all have a good Christmas. I would usually raid... Actually, I could just raid this person. Eh, yeah. I'll just raid this person. Because I kind of like the content. Raid. Yoko. Me. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be ending stream because sleepy, sleepy, sleepy bitch. And I don't want to be dying tomorrow because I still have to get up tomorrow because mm, horses moment. But yes, <laughs> sorry. I hope you have a good night, Christmas, all that good shit. Uh, bye stream tomorrow. Hopefully I do. I don't know. Uh, have a good day. Ah. Uh <laughs>